and live. So we're probably live. <laughs> cool, 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 cool. You gotta go live in OBS and then live yeah, yeah, on yeah, yeah, Facebook yeah. and all sorts of stuff. But I think we're live. Are we live? Yeah, we are live. It just came. It just popped up on my Facebook. Well, we're live. Cool, cool. So we could wait a wait a couple minutes. Let some people join. Let's see. Did I lock the door? I locked the door. Did you update okay. your office, Alex? I uh, I'm flipped around, so sorta. I used to be on that side. You know what's, and I you know what's that funny side. is that um, that looks better than what you had before. Yeah, well, that's because I had random stuff thrown on my shelves. So, uh, well, and what's funny is that like one of uh, one of the ladies that I work with, like she was up against a window, and oops. like it was I was always like washed out, right, because mm -hmm. um, of the window, and she like did the same thing, went to the other side of her desk this week, and like it looks like way better, and, like like it just looks cooler. Yeah, I've inherited from my mom. Like, she has the sense that she has to rearrange every couple months just to keep things fresh. And I have that same, like, bug where I just, I have to rearrange something to just make the room seem fresh and different. I, just, I like that. Like, I have to. Like, I. I Why? <laughs> I just saw PJ's comment. That would be freaking like, see, God. <laughs> What, the six uh, percent that you're gonna get six yeah. percent of these, right? People are gonna like it. I mean, he didn't say, like, he didn't say that that was a maximum. He was uh, very, <laughs> he was very inspecific. He will get like six percent right. Uh, so yeah. he used very unspecific <clears throat> terms to describe. So, like six percent could mean like a hundred. I don't. Uh, very true. I, I, okay. <laughs> we, <laughs> all right. Um, all right. Now we are up. not. I will reiterate. We are not just gonna quickly skip, like the the yeah. C U R. We will skip. <laughs> we will go quickly through them, but we will not just be like, all right, all the commons go in D. Yeah, we're not jumping to thirty-seven. Yeah. Um. All right. So real quick. Um. Same thing as last time. We're just doing a quick. Or well, not quite. We're doing a tier list maker for for strictly meta. This is strictly meta, um, so uh, some of these can be played in mo or casual, and that's totally fine. But this is we're strictly talking about meta here. Um, we're also probably not going as as in depth um, as our big show, which was like five hours long. If you want more explanation on anything, go there. We're kind of getting to this point, assuming you know what these figures do, and then just giving our opinions on them. So that's how we're doing it. We'll go comments to chases, and then that's it. Do you want to and say we'll which wrong. tier? Yeah, I actually wrote it down this time. It's actually at the still at the top of the thing. Yeah, that's what I meant. I've actually oh. <laughs> added it to the thing. Okay, cool. Um, so S definitely on winning builds consistently, and will be a meta staple. So, like you know, like Valeria Von Doom, Jason Weingard, things like that. Top tippity top. Uh, a most likely to be on winning builds and will at least make top cuts consistently. Um, I always picture this as onslaught. He's just always like right there. He might be up to S at this point, but that's always what I think of. Um, He's been B, a consistent A. Yeah. Um, B will be on winning builds, um, but will sorry won't be on winning builds, but will make top cuts. So probably won't win, but it could make a lot of top cuts. This fits nicely with the Fantastic Four teams. I don't think anyone's won with the specific Fantastic Four team, but they're always they're always doing pretty well. They're always in contention. You have to deal with them. Um, C won't make top cuts, but uh, could be trying to things like regionals. Um, this is your oddball stuff. I don't know why, but I always think of the Iron Fist chase um, whenever this comes up, just because I saw somebody try this in a regional, and it was pretty cool. But it just really, they probably are not going to be on many meta teams. You won't see them a lot, but just you might. You n never prepare for a C. And then D is uh, utter trash. No one's going to play this in specifically a meta event. No one's going to no one's gonna even give it a shot. It's not worth considering. Okay. All good? 
Yeah. We rated, but this is our, what, fourth? Third? Is it? Uh, we did uh, House of X was our first, right? Yeah, we did. So this is our third one, I guess. Here. House of X, Future Foundation, and now Wonder Woman 80. All right, all right. All right, jump into it. Wonder Woman, shifting focus. A. I'm already mad. Did you say your? Did you say A? He said A. Because he's he's talking to PJ. PJ is gonna play these. Um, even if PJ plays these, this why would you ever switch to this one? You never run this one, right? But uh, so this one does generate has leadership. So so you that might could be relevant. Yes. I don't. Think it's not it PJ. Is. I mean, Adam. Adam's been discussing yeah, it. Yeah, that's true. To him. There have been other um, people. That's true. We yeah, really, I mean, you know, what we need to do next time is we literally need to have a PJ tier. <laughs> and just like a side thing. Basically, basically, like, oh yeah, this piece is trash, but PJ will probably play it and make <laughs> yeah. it work somehow. Like he yeah, just like, needs his like own PJ's, tier. Like if you watch PJ's thing from his winning build in Columbus, right? Mm -hmm. Like. That team's very difficult to play, right? So, like, a lot of people can't just pick up that robot team and play it. And I, you know, I don't know if a lot of people could just pick up the shifting focus Wonder Woman team and play it. Um, but it's pretty straightforward. I mean, you know, I'm gonna you shift you, you lasso, you shift, you lasso, you, you retail. know, you retail, yeah. Um, I am going to put this in C. I don't even think I don't think it makes that that team. I think there are better sideline options. Even if even if those things were like S's, I don't think that this one should ever be switched to because Salem has a 19 defend. Well, that's convenient because I'm going in the middle of you guys and going to be. I think it's good, but I don't know if it's that good. Um, she's good at close range. I I I don't know how much you're using her outside of the. The, the lasso. Yeah. But that remains to be seen. Cheshaw has zero range, which is bad for that team. Um, next is Allied Soldier. In, in cap has a minimum range. so it's Does it? Yeah, it does. Minimum of six, I believe. Everything's Did it always? Uh, yes. No. No. Uh... Nine control did. But I think in cap has a minimum range of six. No, it doesn't. No, 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 no. It doesn't. It. So. it doesn't. It no. just it goes on to your attack. Yeah. Uh, okay. Gotcha. Never mind. Forget Maybe her lasso it. does. Does the lasso give a minimum range? Uh, maybe. Yeah, in cap with a range of four as free. Oh, okay. So okay, it's a, it's a lasso that does it. Oh, and she has double target. Maybe that's something. Hey, hold um, on. Keep her PJ so, says you start on 001. It's yes. It's one. It's number one. <laughs> So, hold on. I just, I just want to just make. I, I just, I just something popped up on my Facebook, and I have to just uh, comment on this real quick. I'm sorry. Oh God. So they just, they just posted, um, uh, about the Scott Porter event coming up on the WizKids page. Mm hmm And it just said Saturday. Uh, so it says Friday for collectors auction weekend long raffles. Sunday for experienced players a modern age tournament. Saturday. For all levels, a Silver Age tournament. Uh -huh. Yeah. <clears throat> I think they might be... Uh, I mean, I don't know all the details yet, but uh, I think they might be kind of overselling that all levels thing. But I, I guess if somebody wants to show up and take a take a uni to the face, then maybe... <laughs> Listen, it's for all people should show up on Saturday. <laughs> Dude, it's it, true. Yeah, don't don't yeah. don't listen to Dan. But then again, if you're playing, if you're listening to us, then you're probably looking most forward to Sunday. So more like well, that, and they're trying to break Silver Age too. So yeah, uh, Allied Soldier. Uh, All right, uh, so I'm going with my standard for the sidekicks. Uh -huh. So you don't even have to just you don't even have to talk to me about it until Cersei. They're they're just all B. You said this last time, and then you changed your mind. Um, I'm well, putting... Allied Soldier and German Soldier definitely are B because of Aerie. I'm putting Allied Soldier at C, because um, I don't think he's that good. Yeah, PJ's laughing at the all-level Silver Age thing. Yeah, he thinks... So. Well, he's just worried about Legion. That's what he's Legion's worried about. Legion's banned. Oh. Yeah, we okay. banned him. Well, 
Yeah. All right. Then why is he whining? Um, <laughs> where's your allied soldier? Mine's B also. Uh, wait, did anyone put him on B? I put him on B because of Ares. Dan put uh, him on B. I put him at C. I yeah, don't think I, I really allied like... soldiers better than German soldier. Why are you putting German soldier? Because at... uh, I'm putting German soldier at D. Oh gosh. All right. Sounds. Good. I'm not, <laughs> not going. I'm not going to argue with you about this because it's the same thing from last time. <laughs> Yeah, uh, German Soldier's D for me. <laughs> German Soldier's D for me also, because I don't know when you would ever play this figure. Over Allied Soldier. <laughs> over Allied Soldier that dies faster. Yeah, and it's better. Um, I mean, so I don't, there's no reason to put it on your team. It has all the same keywords and everything. Just, there's no reason in my opinion. Uh, yeah. Amazon Warrior, number four. Uh, I'm gonna put her at B, not B, C, sorry. I'll put her at C. She can be generated, um, you know, maybe on an Amazon team. I don't think so, but somebody might try her out. Dan is, a, it's a sidekick, so Dan always puts those in B, is that right? B, yeah, B. I'm, I'm, I'm B through Cersei, so. <laughs> All right. Uh, same with me, B for Amazon Warrior. I'm really riding Amazon Vo Warrior right now because I finally watched the Snyder Cut today. So, Very good. Yeah, I just realized I have access to HBO Max. I've had it for the longest time. <laughs> I didn't realize that access. Um, the Amazon of... Uh, Sheer Minogue or whatever. It's not Tier what Minogue. I don't bon care. Bon 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 Madal. All right, she's D. I, you never play her over the other ones, I don't think. I don't see a reason to. Uh, looking at her real quick, compared to Amazon Warrior. It's, she's just like the ranged version. I want to put her as D. I might lower her a tier to C, but... You mean B? C. I have her in C, Amazon Warrior is oh. B. So gotcha. the Amazon of Tier Nanog is in C. Uh -huh. D M A. Uh, is awful. It's, it's awful. It's a D. It, like at least give it two targets or something, so it's you don't feel so bad wasting an action on it. Who brings her in again? It's uh, what's his face? Uh, Wasn't it a Diana Prince? It, it, it's a Diana Prince, I think. No, yeah. there's a dude that brings her brings him into Steve Trevor, maybe. No, no Steve brings in the. Uh... <laughs> Who it's is the it? police dude. It's the police dude. Yeah, Sergeant. Is it Sergeant? St no, not Sergeant. Oh, I just played against him. Nemesis? Nemesis. 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 That's it. Yeah, it's Nemesis. <coughs> okay, so it's, the, it's the bad guy from Resident Evil? Yep. Yes, that guy. Resident Evil 2. They slid in a new license <laughs> in this set. No. Uh, I won't put them in D because it's sidekick. And I feel like... If you're for some reason playing Nemesis, having a lot of people with police isn't bad. So, or you could you could body people with stealth. Um, so. uh, Gorilla Knight, um, is another D for me. He doesn't have any move and attack. Um, he has the exact same dial as Phil, but he's ten points more. So I don't think you'd ever play him even on a sidekick team. I think there's better options on Animal, like Wendigo is. <laughs> They're animal and five points cheaper than this. So, I don't think so. He's an A for me. He's actually my first A sidekick. You're lying, right? Just because Tolifer is so good. Or Tolifar. But you're not You're... playing this guy with Tolifar. Well, yeah, I would if I'm playing an Amazon theme. Why wouldn't of... you play Wendigo? I mean, I could play Wendigo too. I'm confused. Why would you ever pay 20 points for that guy when you could pay 15 points for Wendigo? Um, Windigo's an easy target. I... Right, that's fine. That's fine. I'll bump him down to B. How about that? Oh, all right. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm not gonna be. I'm not gonna be bullied by Tyler. Uh, the gorilla guy is a B. Uh, oh, I will say though, Minotaur for me is an A. Minotaur. Is I am putting him as a B. He's my highest um uh, sidekick. I I think he's probably the best sidekick um that we have at least in this set for sure. I mean, uh, Tol Tolifar generates the fellas for that, 40 points. 
That that was my problem. If we're talking about main boarding, then no, I wouldn't play the Gorilla Knights. But if we're talking about are they going to be on my team? Well, yeah, generated from Talifar. So, well, so like this is a it, you're never playing Talifar over High Evolutionary, right? That's there's no way. So uh, probably I mean, Tolof- not, but maybe Talifar. Tolifar has advantages in that uh, Tolifar can join the Amazons. Yes. Yeah, I'm only so, playing. I'm playing Tolifar less on Animal and more on an Amazon team. Right, and you got to remember that Tolifar also gives friendly sidekicks sidestep. Yeah, uh, it, maybe on a specific sidekick team, you might play Tolifar. Definitely not. But that's the only reason side. Yes. Well, the reason sidekicks are a B is because if someone figures out how to make sidekicks work, uh-huh. sidekicks become a sidekick team. That's why sidekicks are B. We'll, we'll get to Talifar. He's down the list. We'll get to him. All right. Uh, Cersei, Dan. D. <laughs> uh, yeah, she's a D. There's she, no reason to she's, play her. She's actually okay and sealed, but we're not talking sealed, so yeah, uh-huh. D. Um, who's next? Diana Prince, the first one. She has a secret identity, Wonder Woman. She's yeah, not. Did autonomous. anyone? Did anyone else forget that they had secret identities in this set? I think they only have we, one, we, right? We talked about it on the set reviews. No, no. I mean, like going into tonight, I saw that I was doing, you know, reminding myself of what we talked about last week or the week before, and I was like, oh, that's right. Like it never came up in sealed, obviously. So. No, I mean, to me, no, it doesn't matter because these secret identities are terrible. Yep. Yeah. They're, they're not autonomous. They don't turn into Marvella, <coughs> she yeah, Venom, but... or whatever. D. A D. D for D. Diana D. Prince. Oh, oh, wait, no, that's wrong. No. Nope. Uh, Ada Candy is awful. She is a D. And she's also off- offensive. <coughs> True. Um, wait. She is offensive. She's eleven for three, and she's got the retail. That's not the definition of the word offensive I was going for. But... <laughs> I'm putting her in C just because she's a sidekick, and she offers sidekick teams like a pseudo retail. If you're playing a Wonder Woman on a sidekick team, true. I mean, um, I could. She's the only sidekick I'm having as a D because she's offensive. <laughs> <laughs> I like her. Um, Sergeant Steel, <laughs> our first captain. Um, is really bad. It's really bad. That makes me sad. Yeah, <laughs> all these keywords already have leadership, so he doesn't really add anything to the table. Sure, at 40 points. Good to look at. Uh, Cheetah is D. She's like fine sealed. She's a fine Cheetah dial, but a Cheetah dial is never going to see play in the meta. Yep. They caught, they just said, hey, here's Cheetah. That's her <laughs> dial. Cheetah. Hey, here's here's Huntress. Uh, Spencer like, White. Oh, it's... oh, oh go, ahead. go ahead. No, I was gonna say Cheetah, Tigra. They all get like Control C, Control V dialed. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Spencer White does mention Diana Prince does have the Warrior keyword for Spider-Man family to copy the Wonder Woman team ability. Not nothing. <laughs> so it's, it's... that's a little obscure. Like that does possibly do it. I don't have enough info. To know oh, if that's the okay. only so, way to do it. But so hang, hang on a second. No, there's so Spencer, I I would say Spencer, I appreciate your uh, insight thing there, but but yeah, your insight. But what I would go ahead and say, I, I, I have looked into this one because PS4 Spider Man's a badass. Mm-hmm. Um, you look at probably like scientists, and you get Prime Giganta because Spider Man's not always fighting for a prime um because warrior you have to play the really bad one right chase is, is that gwen uh, no, gwen of arc no it's the that's, that's armor viking spider viking uh, hey viking's got that dolphin symbol true i like viking i mean man that's really niche so like maybe you're fighting for C there, but like Giganta was scientist and um, Leonardo da Venom. Uh, also, Warriors twenty points. So, like Amazon Warrior, 
this one. I know, but Gigantic gets Spider Man Family a retail. Prime yeah, I'm saying Gigantic. Prime Gigantic's uh, great. We'll get yeah, to her, yeah. but. Yeah. I'm just saying, I, I don't think that it's good enough of a reason to give, like, PS4 Spider Man. Yeah. And so even I, if it I, is, I, I think you're playing Amazon Warrior at 20 points, so. Stand by my D. All right. Uh, Batman. But, but great point. Great point, sir. Appreciate it. Um, Batman is... Uh, no, you... no, it's not Batman. It's Huntress. You, you skipped Huntress. Oh, I mentioned her and said D. <laughs> but go ahead. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I agree. All right, Batman. Okay. Um... Is he ever played even on a... He's got two great keywords. Is the only thing hesitating from D. I think the only way he sees play is as an ally. On the sideline? Yeah, if like Justice League teams, like the ones we've talked about with Mike Ron and stuff. Oh, like, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the only reason. I mean, friendly psychics have stealth. I get it. That's cool. But for 40 points to do that, and then that's basically all he does? I'd put him as a C. He makes, um... Well, that's where I have him. Oh, okay. I, I, I'd, put him, I'd put him at C. I really want to put him as a B for ally, really. But dang, that's, that, that sideline gets so crowded. And we yep. did get confirmation that yep. uh, the sideline limit is nine. Oh, well, Spencer does say it's... Should... Oh, go ahead. I should have exploited that this weekend, Tyler. I should have had 50 super friends <laughs> on my sideline. Play Spencer, all 10 of your grunts. Spencer Go White ahead. wanted to issue his own errata of sorts. It's actually martial artist, not warrior. That does make it better, right? Because that's... Um... Wait, who's martial artist? Um, my, the One Miles? of the good ones. Not, not Miles. That's police. Who's martial it's artist? The, uh, Spider Ham. Yeah, Spider Ham's oh, good. Yeah, that's really good. Yeah, okay, that so makes that, it better. That's yeah. legit, yeah. Uh, Still not playing her, though. All right. Nope. <laughs> uh, Superman. You know what? I, I, I want to put him as, like, F- minus tier. Really? What? Because my Superman got crit hit four times in Seal, so I'm just going <laughs> to assume that's going to happen to him every time from here on out. He's like an S-plus in Sealed, but in meta, I... I don't know if you ever play him, which is... He... <sighs> right? I don't see a meta team ever with him. I'm putting C because he's a captain that gives him vulnerability and he's not a bad meat shield, but... Yeah. It, that's fine. about it. I mean, he's got the one roll... He's got the super senses on, what, four, five, and six? So, uh, I'll, yeah. I'll give him a C if for no other reason um, than Matt Esbrook is likely to give him a try. <laughs> at least look at him. Um, okay. That's fair. Um, Diana Prince? Or no, Wonder Woman. Yes. Uh, this is the one that the other two turn into. Um, notable that she does start the game with the Wonder Woman equip, which works even when you switch into her, so you can start her with the golden armor. Uh, so she has invuln and only takes one damage, and then she's 12 for four. So like she's a really, really good figure to switch into. Like to, like Probably better than all the other ones in the other set. So I you want you wouldn't bring her in with Lasso of Truth? I well, I mean it depends like if it's their turn and they're probably gonna kill her, then yeah, I want the I can always switch That's the fair. last one. I, That's fair. Um mm. She's a four through six super senses when she comes in and she's only taking one damage. So I But the other two are so bad. <laughs> so yeah, I'll she's, put her she's, at a, she's a C C. for me. Okay, I'm putting her at a C. Because she it's really good when you bring her in. Uh, I just gotta put her as a D because if you're not ever gonna bring her in somehow, then she's just she's got she's no better than the secret identities. Well, yeah, I'm putting her as a D because I'm putting both Diana Princes at, as a D. So for me, it's like that means I'm never bringing her in as secret identity. Oh, uh, you're probably right. No, no, I'm looking at that. It's so good though when you bring her in, but yeah, yeah you're right. I'm never playing the other ones. Yeah, if D you're not. For me. Yeah, so Diana Prince is the next one. Yeah, <laughs> so like if um I was just looking at her. Like if this Diana Prince was autonomous. That would be okay, cool. Just, nothing else. Okay, just as she is, police, Wonder Woman, pa uh, generates dudes, leadership, police spy keywords, I would at least give her a beat. 
But as she is being costed, I, I just can't do it as a D. Yep. Yeah, those keywords aren't really hurting for some leadership. If there those keyword if she had another keyword that really needed the leadership, I would consider it more. But she's yep. not. Nubia Free chooses a character place cause fangs. So one character needs place cause fangs. No. You're never playing this. Even on a even uh... on She's not no. a good captain. They're better captains. 40 points, leadership for a uh, ruler, warrior, Amazon. And she doesn't have to be adjacent for the friendly sidekick thing. So maybe C. That's I'm as high Ferdinand. as I'm going. I'm playing Ferdinand on my sidekicks, and he already has it. So, okay. uh, Steve Trevor. Uh, leadership. He's yes, a, he good. He's B. He's B for me, because I think you play him... You play him on Ares teams, potentially. Could be. Uh, he's a C for me. Just the, yeah, the, that's a solid C. It's a map-wide effect that's pretty pretty good for sidekicks, if if that happens. Which yeah, I, I just like him for the leadership. Another opportunity to have another allied soldier out there. Now, I know his are... You'll give up points if they die, but having another one is... Yeah, for sure. Better than uh, not. Useful. Artemis is bad... Um, for a lot of reasons. She was almost good. She was <laughs> she's almost good, I agree. But then so they I had to fix it. Yep. Yeah. Same with um, Yeah, same they're with, both. Same with Antelope. Both Artemis of them are D's. And Antelope. Uh next is Grod, who Dan kinda likes. Oh my gosh, like uh like uh. <laughs> Dan wants to like? <laughs> I want to like it so bad. Uh, plus a one attack for animal. A masterminding, like Grod with Galactus, just hits on the right things for me. He just like mastermind. Big guys with mastermind. I like big guys with yeah. I just don't want you to be able to kill my big guy. Yeah, right? that's why you like Sounds dark side. Um, right. Who doesn't I, like Dark Side? I think Twitter. he's almost a re not a requirement, but I liked him when we did the set review at seventy five. Being able to give Animal another leadership, being able to pop out the Gorilla Knights, giving everyone on your Animal team plus one attack. The only thing that he does for me is the plus one attack, but I am not paying seventy five points for that. So I, I just not good, not for me. It's a D. You know what? Screw it. I'm going with my heart. Gorilla Grod's a B. Hey, let's there go. go. There you go. I, I don't agree, but I respect it. Um, all right. Uh, Talifar. A for me. 100% A. Captain, for movement elevated. Um, when establishing the theme team, she may start the first girl to get Amazon. Um, does F Minotaur have animal? Because that would make it better. Minotaur does, Ferdinand doesn't. Okay. I think that's Wait. right. Let me check Minotaur again. Yeah, Minotaur does. Ferdinand does not consider himself an animal, so he doesn't have animals. Leadership of Tolfer uses it and succeeds. Generate. I'm gonna put this guy as a B. Yeah. Yeah, I, I tend to agree. I think it's. I think it's gonna be a too a little bit too niche of a team for it to be like a strong A. I'm putting him on B because I think he goes on almost every sidekick. That's why um, I, that's why I have him as a. Yeah, but I don't think sidekicks are that good. So highest I'm going is B on sidekick stuff. Um, but he's the best. I think he'll if if works, it'll be with Talfar. Yeah, and I mean he gives your Gorilla Knights move and attack sorta. So. Uh -huh. And he right. makes every, everything better. He increases the Minotaur range. Um, he gives your allied soldier sidestep for the enhancement and the shots and stuff. It's really good. Um, it's just not. The team, I don't think, was enough. Yeah. Uh, Harley Quinn. She's great in sealed. She's like good. A plus in sealed, but pretty bad everywhere else. I don't Man, I tell you, I really, I really like Underworld with sidestep. I like Underworld with sidestep. I like her twenty-five point dial. Yeah, for sure. I'm never playing her at 50. Yeah, and it's almost like if you give her, a, make her a little support piece with, like, in cap, right? Mm -hmm. And, like, 
if she's going right, she's either giving you a token or she's not giving you a she's either giving you a token. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Or hit. She's, either, she's either giving you a token with end cap or wow. she's not giving you a token with her thingy. Or she trade. is giving you a token with her thingy. She gives you a token either way, is what you're saying. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm trying to say. And I just Maybe maybe my heart is saying B, but like reality knows that it's really a D. I'm gonna put her at a C. Um, I like both her team abilities. Wildcard is getting a lot better. Um, she has a sidestep underworld, so that is a carry piece. Um, she can equip your stuff. She's got a good dial. Um, I wish she had better generic keywords, but um, scientist yeah. is great though. Yeah, scientist is okay, uh, but I'm going to see. I, I yeah, mean, I think I'm just gonna go with C. Just there's there's an off chance that she ends up on somebody's build. Yeah, I don't think she's on anyone's build. She's a D for me. That's fair. Like she's um, she's amazing sealed, but not meta whatsoever. Ferdinand. That heel, man. That heel is <laughs> It's a D. <laughs> I gotta go C. Thirty points for a heel in the and he could go in and attack. <coughs> that's not bad. Like that's really not like getting a pseudo support i know we're used to maybe free like dr frankenstein and stuff doing it for free for select people but just the fact that you could be in the fray and he could just power action he do support but not have to deal with the downsides of support right or downside or deal with the downsides of stop clicks either it is too bad on action economy for me i'm never i'm not gonna waste an action on it I, I it think... just depends, right? So, I mean, we just play different teams, Tyler. So, for me, like, I, I'm looking at a 30-point tentpole supporter. Yeah, Onslaught. And, Would love this dude. Yeah, Onslaught. I mean, it doesn't even have to be theme, right? Like, Darkseid loves this guy. Yeah. Just you know, boost me up. He's, get, he's, get the, he's got the Wonder Woman team ability. It's just 30 points. You know, he's a little body blocker. He heals. You know, if he comes in clutch, he comes in clutch. If he's a sacrifice, he's a sacrifice. He dies very, very easily. Well, a lot of things at 30 points die very, very easily. Yeah, yeah. but they aren't good. <laughs> I mean, I just watched 60 points. I just watched Jalen 60 points of Dark Phoenix get yeeted on turn two. Yeah, but Dark Phoenix is harder to kill, right? She's but We no, can't really good. compare Ferdinand to Dark Phoenix. <laughs> yes, we can. It's a meta show. So, like, for what it's worth, like, so if Danger Room Magneto comes up and side blasts two Dark Phoenixes that are colossal. They yeah, just he's not. very, very, they very have... good at killing Dark Phoenix. I agree. Okay, <laughs> right? So, but he does not kill Ferdinand. There's even a chance he may not even damage Ferdinand. So, like, to say that, just to say that, like, Ferdinand... Just to say, Ferdinand is really, really easy to kill. You have to also say, well, Dark Phoenix is pretty freaking easy to kill too. I think she is less easy to kill because she doesn't have to be like she can keep her back and she's still very useful. I guess. Well, I mean, you're keeping your in, in the sense that Ferdinand goes on tentpole teams, you probably keep your tentpole back too. Right? Plus, he's yeah. a he, freaking he, awesome to... sculpt, by the way. That That's brownie yes. points in my book. Oh, I wanted to mention that. All the sculpts in this set are super good. They did really good with these. I, yes. Like, everything. Except for Flash. What? You don't like Flash? Which he's, one? He's tiny. No, the blue Flash, the chase. I thought he looked cool. He was not meant for this set, dude. Like, yeah, here, give, give me a set. You guys talk. I, ha I have one. Let me show you what I, I mean. Like, I'll compare. <laughs> Okay, where are you guys putting Ferdinand while you're doing that? Uh, I'm going to put Ferdinand as a B. Ooh, okay. I'm going to move oh. him up from C because that that healing is better than better than I'm thinking. Like, I think he would be A if he had uh, support power. Just, mm -hmm. uh, just any of them. Just yeah, yeah. Name na name one, and I think he would be an A for me. Okay, who's A? Nobody. Uh, Ferdinand with a damage power. Oh, I put Ferdinand as uh, C. He's not. I, I I bumped him up to B after Tyler tried to convince me uh, <laughs> he was lower than that. Uh, he is a D. So I have put him there. So I don't know if you guys could see it on stream. I'm 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 holding it up. So I have a Mary Shazam, a super rare, great sculpt, 
And then I have a Flash, who looks like he came out of uh, the old Flash, with like the, the plastic things out the back of him. She stands like a whole head and more taller than him. He just He's looks leaning! Like, he's t No, he's tiny! Just like the, his sculpt feels like yeah, a common children. from a common from the the Flash set. You're nuts. I I saw it in person. I thought it looked cool. I was I was hyped for it. Just just comparing like here's Grail. Like Grail, I know she's in the air some. He, he's doing the same pose, same pose, still bigger. Same almost same exact pose. He's got a runner's body. So well, so, so does she, <laughs> so just I, saying. I saw it in person. I liked it. Anyway, um, what are we? We We're are at Apollo. Air, Apollo. Apollo is D. There's no no way anyone's ever playing him. There's no redeeming quality. Which no no no. <laughs> there is at least one redeeming quality. Go ahead. And that is improved targeting elevated. But unfortunately, oh I didn't see that. That's but cool. at least unfortunately for another year, a astronomer. <laughs> yep. Destroys this guy. For sure. So um, he, so he once once. One thing I want to talk about before we go on to the next ones. Who, like, when we think of rotation and rotation classes, Wonder Woman is always going to be in the rotation class with Fantastic, Fantastic Four, I think, is the last one. Mm -hmm. uh, like the Fantastic, earliest. The, the, the Fantastic Four set with God Doom. Right, the first Fantastic Four set. So if you're thinking at some point, oh, well, these figures are the new thing, once rotation happens, well, Wonder Woman is forever going to be stuck with Fantastic Four, Carnage, House of, House of X, and Future Foundation. It depends, though, right? Because, so this, now there is one exception, right? Rebirth stayed in. Now, I would say their 2020 happened, but also if retirement happened normally, quote-unquote, Rebirth would be gone, and we'd only have this as our DC set. So I'm thinking that maybe 2020 and the DC set releases had something to do with Rebirth staying. staying. Um, so it is possible that Wonder Woman in 2023 makes it one more round. Yeah, they could start over at Wonder Woman and say... This is we've got a big reset. We're gonna start here. I'm just it, saying. It, it, I'm just it is saying. It's possible that Wonder Woman makes it into 24. It is possible that Wonder Woman makes it to July of 24's rotation as the oldest set. I just wanted to keep that in mind because we're not just talking about the meta now. We're talking about all. I I like to think of these as all meta potential. So, is there ever a realm where a Hundred point piece with invuln and then goes to regen is relevant. The answer is four clicks of regen. Yeah, the oh answer is no, but it's something to think about if you're like, well, wait, in the set he's amazing. What about water? You know, no. In general, no. You know why he's got four clicks of regen, right? Uh, no, because Apollo's like the god of the sun, right? So he's like soaking in sun energy. Yeah. I'm fairly certain of that. Yeah, if we had his card, we could probably read, and it probably says something about it. All right, Maxi Zeus. Uh, I'm putting him as C. Um, he does interesting things. He, like, there might be a like a Gotham, some sort of Gotham Underworld team or something. Yeah, is uh, Ace okay. is Ace Underworld? Uh, mm, she's yes. some sort of Gotham, I think, right? Yeah, she's uh, she's Underworld, if I remember correctly. Okay. All right, uh, I'll give Maxi a C for that. Is this our first tier maker with Silver Age as a thing? Yes. Okay. Oh, if if we're ranking them, so I would say we got to do our tier makers modern, modern. Okay. Yeah. Tier maker should maintain modern because if we go silver, like Maxi Zeus is garbo that... compared to beat taz well Zeus. no that's a, that's the question i have is because they when i look when i look at him i say sure the old maxi zeus is better but he's got underworld team ability he generates minotaurs which are good he's got leadership which is good like i would try to fit him on my underworld team but i'm mostly playing the underworld team in silver age so 
I'm not trying to play Underworld yeah. and Modern. So that's why I asked that. So if we're just going purely Modern, he's yep. maybe C. I would bump him up in Silver Age, but we're not doing yeah, a Silver so, Age show. Yeah, but not doing Silver Age right now. So Mary Shazam is D. Um, she is okay in Sealed. She's that's so tough. She's, is it? She's so good in Sealed. Yeah, but I don't. So good. <laughs> oh wait a minute, she doesn't even have the one room team build. She has GLA. Okay, yeah, she's a D. Next. She, I don't. Hmm, hmm. Yeah, who, what team are you playing a hundred point piece like that on? I know it's just her charge ability you can literally use it every single turn uh huh unless they outwit it well not every single turn because she runs out of actions but like new breakaway rules I mean, I mean she's using it too. every <laughs> single time so I don't know I'm still putting her in D but that's a, almost a C okay. that, that one's okay. tough uh, that's about where I'm at with the next guy. I'd say he's almost a C, but he's a D. Yeah, he's a D. I mean, again, astronomer. Mm -hmm. Like, and there's other things, right? Like, just astronomer's the top of that list, right? Yeah, he does for like a like a turret. Um, Medusa. Is there a way to break her? Do you think? Do you think someone would figure that out? Right, like if you equip Waldo arms, you can incap as free. So then you move her up, triple and kept no, as free. They all take two turns. No, you can't. Because you can't. It's, a, it's a source of the power thing. Yeah. You get in the special thing. She still gets triple in cap though. That's but in cap's bad. Um. In cap's bad. It gives I you mean, she, you give a if, token. If, if this was a Wonder Woman, so that I could do this, then retail with Giganta. Sure, but her name is Medusa. I'm gonna put her C. I like her. No, end cap just doesn't do like because it doesn't deal cards. since it doesn't deal damage anymore. <clears throat> end cap is just an auxiliary effect that you want on other powers. It's not a power you just want to rely on for a forty point piece. You want it on a fifteen point piece. Yeah, not forty. Agree to disagree. Donna Troy. <laughs> uh, this wasn't bad. It's not good. Uh, yeah. The I'm prime, prime. Uh, is somebody gonna try her? That's the question. She's gonna be at least a C because that little seven thing is cool, it, right? That that seven was the first crit hit on Superman in Sealed. <laughs> from, crit hits uh, way better with all this Wonder Woman going around. Yeah, oh, that was with uh, Jason. Jason. Oh, okay. Rolled the first seven of the turn. Oh, with the pen, too? <laughs> That's yeah. rough. Yeah, so that's four damage to Superman's face. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna... She's uh, on, a, on a what a blah way. I'm gonna put her C. Kind of cool. What, what did you just say? The on out what outwit? What are you talking about? Oh, sorry. Super senseless. <laughs> I was really confused. It comes with the bracelets. Oh, um, okay. I got what you're saying. Alright, Resident uh, Evil, dude. Um, oh yeah, this is the worst figure in the set, maybe. That's not yeah. true whatsoever. He's not the worst. We just it's went hard. through the Donna, uh, the the Prince Diana Princes. Yeah. D. D. Yeah, he's still D. I'm just saying he's not the worst one in the set. Hey. Okay. Speaking Angle of the man. best figure in the set. <laughs> um, I I don't think anybody plays him. He's <laughs> got one keyword. I'm gonna put him at D. He's cool. He's a cool figure. He play him in sealed. His his thingy is neat, but he, nobody's playing him on do a. We have an, uh, do we have another ranking for the equipment? Like yeah, we, thing? we don't. I see. want to, but I, I kind of want to wait for rotation. But now I guess we can just we well, get we like pre do we rotation. Don't, we so, don't have the we don't have the pictures. Yeah, so let here. let's just talk about the object with the figure it comes with, if we can remember what it comes with. Oh, I didn't put them on here because I didn't think we were going to. Because we'll do that with all the lanterns anyway. Oh, so. that's right. Yeah, because we've got to do the... We're going to do an object ranking yeah, a separate after, thing. after rotation. That or, was I guess plan. we can do that pretty soon because Deadpool is not coming out until the first set after rotation. Okay, sorry. You could talk about this. I just forgot. I think it's because me and Dan both want to talk about how the angler is the best object in modern. <laughs> that is not true. Wonder Girl is a D. 
<laughs> yeah. Um, what does she do? Yeah. Right. Yeah. She's just a, she's a solid beat stick and sealed, but you know you're never playing a Saturn beat solid beat stick in modern. She well, not at seventy five points. If she was fifty points and you cut off the last three clicks of hers, then nope. maybe because twelve for four and charge charge is amazing. We were just talking about it in our chat. Charge is amazing now, so it's better. It's not amazing. It's no, it's very good. Um, but. I'm giving her a D because they screwed up her card, and her card says uh, Donna Troy given a move yep. action and not Wonder Girl. So, technically, as uh, of right now, she doesn't work. Teen Lantern. Oh. Um, Tell me why this is playable over Chip yeah. in five words or less. Angler. What? You got four words. No, that's but it has to be printed. Never mind. A barrier is the is the word if you need barrier. I'm I'm putting her at C though. Um, yeah. Yeah, the... it's for, it's free barrier. I don't think she sees play, but maybe if you need specifically barrier in some situation. Yeah, I mean, um, obviously, Molecule Man is better at thirty points. Yeah, that's a lot better. But well, um, I mean, for barrier, Molecule yeah. Man is better for barrier. It's just, yeah, she's I mean, also your taxi. Right. Just her keywords but, are bad. Yeah, I'm just putting her in C. Oh, yeah, um, C. Sorry, I put her in D. I meant C. Yeah, C. Yeah, yeah, C. <laughs> Zeus is bad, and I'm sad about it. Ah. <laughs> you can't. There's no world you're playing this figure in a, mo in a modern event. How, how many deities yeah. are there? Can I say that I want to though? Why? Yeah. Really? Because like, because I see big number and I'm like, give I big agree number. with that. I'm like, hold on, give me a second. I see okay. big number and I'm like, give big number power to <laughs> big number even bigger. That's true. Thirteen for seven is fun. Triple targets. Uh, um, I'm putting them at C for sure. Hundred percent. Okay. God Emperor Doom has deity. So plus one attack, and when you attack Doom on it yeah that's true um not, i'm not... giving zeus a, i'm giving zeus a c because i i figure that most things with two stop clicks that is a that is a a temp pole is at least somebody's gonna try it at Same some point scarab also has deity dark side has deity yeah there's a decent amount of deity yeah i'm just saying um, as an ally not terrible to give your captains and psychics plus one I doubt you play it, but it's a C where maybe if the meta turns into a dark side God Emperor Doom storm, you're like, all right, I'm going to play Zeus on the sideline so I get plus one against their defense. Um, sure. Uh, Giganta non prime. Meh. I she would be a C in like a vacuum because it's still you know it's a retail that you can use stuff with, but then like everything else just sort of drags her up. Um. To where I might want to put her A. I think that, um, given how good Secret Six is, is that I think the both Gigantas are definitely S. S. Okay. I'm putting this Giganta at B because I feel like the only reason you're playing her is to get to six people on Secret Six. I, she's a good piece. Like she's a retail. She takes two hits to kill. She's got good defense. Her retail is free because you're playing her on a, a theme, and you get to quake with the retail. Um, she's a giant, which is really good. And the like, she's just a solid figure, I think. Um, and then obviously everything. I, I, I agree. I think she. I think. I think she's S. Yeah, I, I I'm just putting her at B just because I think Prime Gigant is just S and so much better. So for me, it's like I'm mostly going to retail with the Prime Giganta. You can uh, do both. No, you. Oh, yeah. wait, is hers not say the placed it, thing either? No, one if, of them. If no other friendly creature has been placed, so you'd have to yeah. do Giganta first, then Prime. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and hers is free, so you're going to do it. Uh, um, I'm still putting her at B. I. M A for sure. I don't think she's S because she doesn't see play outside of that. I don't think. Maybe on a scientist team. I'm gonna say A. I'm gonna keep her A. 
Um, uh, Prime. Prime Giganta. S. Yeah, she's my first S piece. So. Me too. Just seeing her in play, even at 75, she's great. She's really, really good. Yeah, I like her a lot. Really annoying uh, that she could quake your whole team for four. And give them a token. <laughs> right. Yeah, it's very, but very good. she is susceptible, just for warning, she's susceptible to outwit and mm -hmm. mind control. Can you? Oh, no, she starts as giant, so you can't give her yeah. Galactus. Sad. She is very, you do not want her Watch to get her. mind control. That's true. Um, team player is also way better now. Like we're just listing yeah. more reasons why she's asked. She, she's asked. She's very, very good. Um, doctor, you, and you can you can also give her different keywords if you play a cheap Wonder Woman. Yeah, you can put her on like a monster team with like. Uh, never mind. That's a prime. Yeah, can't do that. Primes, but a for <laughs> other things. Uh, doctor Psycho. <sighs> Psycho's pretty People good. Try to, People are trying to tell me that he's good, but like I it's, just. I just ignored him in sealed. <laughs> he ignores the, everything though. That's it's good. a ten attack is rough, but he's got leadership and TK, so he's like a decent support. Stop! Piece. Stop! Click. It's pretty good. Yeah, a good stop click. He's got wild card, um, triple targets, um, so he's equipable with like I don't know if you want to give him the um, what's that ring incandescence. Like <laughs> that's not bad with the improved targeting. Um, you could go liar if you want to bump that up to ten range. You'd lose the action token thing, but uh -huh. or do you? But I... Yeah, you do. But I'm putting him at a, at a C. I think I don't think he's. Uh, I'm maybe. putting him at B because mind control is secret strong. Like, it's very, very, very good. So good I, now. I'm going with just C because I think that he's just too ignorable and he requires too much to beef up even. If too much perplex, I think, because the attack is low. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put him at a B though. He, he does a lot of stuff. I like wild cards a lot. Uh, Strife is, um, if there was something lower than D, I would do it for her. I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> probably, okay. probably D. But the, the giving out of Mystics. I know we hate on Mystics. Yeah. But I don't know. It just depends, right? So like, it all depends on your team <clears throat> composition. So, like, Strife at 25 is bad because she dies to Dark Phoenix who can heal. But now, if your team doesn't die to a Dark Phoenix retail, then Mystics is good. Yeah, giving then... Danger Room context Mystics seems fun. Right, but that means you're probably going to play her at 50. Yeah, yeah, maybe. And the 50 line isn't awful, right? You got a mid dial stop? Like, that's. That's bad. With... Is it? Yeah. 11 for 3 sidestep. She's, it's not like she's doing well, no, a lot. No, 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 no. I'm saying, like, it's 6 clicks long with Mystics and a mid-dial stop click. And then to one-shot her after that, you would have to deal 6 damage, which is really hard to do right now. Then it's, yeah, you or, can't or, or, it. Pinned, or pitting trade. Or yeah, or pitting trade. Sure, sure, sure. Um, if... Are we, are, we, are we convincing ourselves of Strife here right now? No, I, I, I put her in D. I'm convincing myself to bring her up from E and put her in D. She's great and sealed, but un unless Mystics I gets mean, like, a boost. Given the, given the danger room construct, Mystics is pretty good. She has to be within four squares, though. Yeah, but that's yeah, not super hard. She goes top click. She's, she's stealth, right, flies. too. It's it's yeah. kind of hard to get her off of that. Super senses? No. Yeah, if you, retail, if you retail with Dark Phoenix onto her and a bunch of danger room, she's taking four damage, and she's not, she's not healing off of that. She's, she's dying right, so, that. Dead. so maybe we're just maybe we're I'm just putting her in a scene. Her. You know what? Shit. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> actually, you know, I'm actually thinking about now her on a sidekick team. Yeah. And playing a bunch of like mix and bills or whatever, and it's well, like, okay, come and kill these so sidekicks with Herbie, you'll take Mystics. My my thinking was I hate Mystics because I play Dark Phoenix and Dark Phoenix will retail you. But I'm thinking that most teams have one Mystic, but retail she can't she can still retail, but she would die to a team all Mystics, right? right? I think you, I think you yeah it, well it all depends <coughs> right yeah I mean you can't play her at 25 necessarily right I think you can um, just I think it, it just it just depends right it, that becomes positional. That becomes yeah. position definitely, I think, a little bit too much more than I'd like. Uh, I think the Dark Phoenix it. 
pretty much dies, and then you're trading a Dark Phoenix for her, and still like dealing she, one damage. She would die before the Mystics, right? She dies, her trait's gone, so they, um, they don't have Mystics, right? I don't know how that works, because then why does Mystic it's, ever it's, go it's, off? It's, it's, it's a trigger thing. Oh yeah, it still it still happens. It triggers, it happens, and then she dies, but it's still the yeah. trigger still happened. I don't know. Mystics work, so the trait. But Mystics works, so the trait has to work because Mystics works. Yeah, you, yeah, exactly. So you get you get damage before you die, so the trigger for Mystics happens before Strike dies. What? I don't understand it, but I know that Mystics works, <laughs> so this power works. Okay, I see what you're saying. So, you you kill you kill if you kill her by herself, you would take Mystics when she dies. Yeah. Is there does Mystics have a wording about that or? No, I, it's all about triggered effects and the timing of it, and then yeah. it's the attack sequence. It's the attack sequence. Were uh, bordering. Of That's fine. I've I've Just always curious. been confused by that, but um yeah, Star Sapphire. <coughs> um. um I am, I am B. B. I mean, sidestep, side TK, barrier, 25 points. That's Yeah, that's what, I was at B as well. Yeah, that's B right. for me. I think we, like, <laughs> we overlooked Egg in the House of X. The egg has barrier, 25 points. So, like, we, we overlooked that. Um, excuse me, I don't think I, I know overlooked you, Egg. You, you mentioned it, and we all well, agreed, so, but then we still put him in T. <laughs> But Egg doesn't have Cosmic Herald. No, he's got keywords. X-Men. Right, which is objectively worse. Uh, maybe, but she's she's B for sure. Um, because she got DK two and Size Step Flyer, which it got better. Um, definitely her at twenty five D for sixty point dial. Yeah. Uh, Wonder Woman. This is shifting code, oh, I see the combo <laughs> with the her power. Yeah, that makes so much more sense. I'm sitting there thinking, like, who cares if you doubled in cap people? People could in leadership and power cosmic galore now. But oh, you double in cap them with the lasso, and then they have minus two to defense. They have minus two to defense. Everyone within range. Okay, I get it now. I get it. I get it. I also just think you're discounting. In cap, because not everybody has a. It, it's really, really good to double in cap a bunch of people. It puts you up on tempo. In cap's fine if it's free, or it's with another oh, power. But I don't like power action right. in cap anymore, or whatever. Um, I, think... I kind of agree with that, but I've always agreed with that. I don't think you ever played an in cap piece that didn't do that. You mean like Medusa? Yeah, I, I don't think she's that good. I think she's a C because C means someone's playing her. Yeah, because she does something unique where it's like triple target, double in cap. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Um, I'll put out a, a. I mean, this is the A. I, I have the rest of them in B, so I have to go with B. Be consistent. I might bump them to A later. Silver Swan. B. Really? I don't think so. Silver Swan is D? Oh, you said D. I thought you said B. D. D. Yeah, I agree with D. I mean, she could go 12 and do an att close attack with Blades Claws Fangs? I know everything she does. Like, I've read the dial. But there have been other people's pieces that do this. That, like, it's just not good enough. It's really cool. And, and it's good and sealed. But there's no way you're building a meta team with this piece. I, I don't know. It's the same, it's it's the same way with Hawk Girl. Right? Because Hawk Girl did, like, she was that really, really good charge flurry piece for 30 points. And, like, she was really good, but it, it's just nobody played her. I just, I'm looking at that 12, and I'm just like, that's pretty, that's pretty juicy. Yeah. And she move 12 carry. and. Her, on her second click. She's got armor. No, no I'm saying move two. 12. Yeah. Armor got a lot better. Robots, okay. Uh, Cersei. I put her at C, by the way. Did okay. we already do Cersei? Is there another one in this set? There's three. Yes. Oh, this uh, one's D. Bad. I think they're all bad, but we'll see. Uh, Miss Martian makes me sad. D. Yeah. Um, if she D. had more targets, I'd be game. I wouldn't. 
She had more uh, targets that she can move five and then like go through a wall and mind control three people for free. That's pretty good for me, but she only has one target, so that makes me sad. I'm sorry. Um, is Doctor Poison good? Does she do anything? She's a captain. Yes, absolutely, she's good. No. Free. She goes up. She goes up to B. Absolutely, she goes with Steve because she makes the other figure, and then she could just randomly choose a sidekick to have poison. Okay. It, you like her because you you're specifically on that that Aries team. Aries team and maybe like other general sidekick teams. Just giving poison isn't a bad thing. You could keep her in the back to keep leadershiping and poisoning and uh, giving poison for forty I'll put her points. On. D for the side for that specific the Aries team because somebody will try that. Yeah, me probably. <laughs> uh, uh, Devastation is a solid charge piece in sealed, which means he's bad. She. What? It's a she. Oh, look at that. Yeah. I played against I her in sealed. I apologize. You uh... should. You should feel <laughs> bad. Maxwell uh, Lord. Oh, I was just gonna say for anyone that's like. Devastation's cool and her power's cool. Her power's not nearly as cool as you think because the Shaken Tokens can't have their... People with Shaken Tokens can't have their combat values pos positively modified. That's not that big of a deal. Um, so okay. don't think, oh, I'm playing her to shut down like unis and stuff. <laughs> don't, don't. The don't. uni counter we've always wanted. Yeah, we've waiting for that Devastation. Cool yeah, name, though. When you, go back, when you go back to Nick Fury age, yeah, then... then <laughs> Um, anybody like Maxwell Lord? Mission points, I can't do a D. But he's the worst mission points. Mind control's so good, though. <laughs> so... I, mind control, like, as a figure, it's fine. I'm just saying, his, he has the worst mission point trait, specifically. Because it takes minimum 10 turns. No, I'm not saying you, do, you don't ever play him by himself. Like, I'm gonna win with mission points, just with Maxwell Lord. Like, yeah, no. I'm, I'm but... saying... You ignore that trait when you're viewing this guy. I'm, I'm not looking at him at mission points at all. I am. I'm, I'm viewing him as an add-on to a, a Herbie team, or probably not Ares, but it depends on if I could get another mind control on there somehow. But I see him as maybe an add-on. It's probably not that good. That's why I have him at C. But because he gives mission points, I can't do yeah, D. I gotta be a C. Yeah, I'm going with C. Project D. Cadmus, come on. <laughs> D for me. Um, does, uh, Project Cadmus, that means he things with Ace, who has mind control top dial. And and Amazo. All of those words are true. She is a D. Uh, Hippolyta. Hippolyta. I don't know how you ever say it. Um, D. D. Um, the steel energy doesn't matter with sidekicks because you probably nope. want him to die anyway. Um, and I don't... Amazon... Hmm. <sighs> Nah, 60 is too much for this. When you can play the the Shifting Focus Wonder Woman 001 to pop out yep. Amazon Warriors. So I'd rather do that than pay 60. Mm -hmm. So uh, Wonder Woman is... I don't even think she's a solid charge piece in Sealed. This is the bombshell one. Yeah. Um, and that blank attack slot is very disappointing. I don't think she's even good in Sealed. I don't know if I'd play her. Like, Mary Marvel's way better in Sealed. I just don't know enough about, like, her second traits. The only thing I'm like, what pieces have girl or woman in them? <laughs> it's even, even if it, it's not a big deal. It's not. Like, it is. They can't be given action tokens and their combat values can't be negatively modified. I mean, that's a bonus. Yeah, that's not that big a deal. Well, like, I'm just. I'm I'm just... I, I mean, I'm going to play her with Uni Girl. <laughs> well that's what i mean is like i don't know what other pieces are out there like if there is no. a piece i'm not thinking of like a uh... player with whale woman yeah uh... dark, dark side D. woman D. is awesome yeah D. um D. unfortunately it is a good sculpt we got one yeah. silver yeah. A silver age maybe but not in modern mary shazam is she good enough not anymore because they changed the quake thing that's right. Which is sad. D. I think she would be B, C, or maybe B if if they didn't change Quake, but they didn't. Um, I mean, it gets she could get through stop clicks, but seventy five is a little, little pricey. She can get through stop clicks without reducers. 
Uh, well, if they're not toughness or below, yes. Yeah. Um, Green Lantern. He's got to go S, right? S. He's S. He's my S. Even at 75. It's, I don't think you could see as much play at 50. I like him better at 75. But maybe. Sheeper. Dan, go ahead. Ruin my day. <laughs> I don't think... I mean, I just don't think I can ruin your day about it, right? I mean... <laughs> It's like, do I want to be optimistic and say S? Yeah, but it's more than likely C. Or, I'm sorry, not C, A. Um, because, like, do I, I mean, ruining your day would be in like, all right, well, guess what, Tyler? Uh, Sky Tyrant's going to come over after Scarab outwits that uh, stop click and that 19 defend and fucking kills him. Yeah, that is something that could happen. I, well, I, scare can't outwit both. Yeah, both. they can. They two two scare. They outwit. <laughs> okay. they, they Thank outwit you. Well, outwit you said what scarab outwit. does. I didn't know the yeah, multiple yeah. of scarabs was scarab. That team also so. has like five outwits. So, um, yeah, like every all of the super six dudes have outwit. So. I know. I'm saying coming across the field. I oh, I actually am. To, you don't even have to outwit the defend. Yeah, you don't. Um, so, I mean, yeah, you just got with the stop click and you just deal six exploit to him and he's dead. I'm actually dropping him down to A now, so. Aww. Well, it's because S is will definitely be on winning builds consistently and will be a meta staple. He's not at 75. Like, he'll be on winning builds, but he will not be consistent. I disagree. I think this guy goes on so many teams. He's so good. I just, I, I get it. I mean, I get where you're coming from, Tyler. I just... I just don't think reality is gonna set in that way. I, That's I fair. would. I'll put this. I'll put this way. I will happily be wrong in this situation. Where'd you put him though? A. 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 Okay. Fair enough. Uh, he's a Aerie. To, he's, oh. a, he's, he's a thing to look out for. He's a thing to know about. Yeah, your team has to be able to deal with a 19 defend now, because there's a couple ways to get it. Um, Aries. I have Aries as an A. Definitely not I mean, there. Definitely not an A, but I'm at a B just because of sidekicks and mission points and German and allied soldiers and giving your opponent a German soldier and, uh, you know, killing, KOing it yourself and, you know. I'm going to go with C. I think he's the best at, after the Iwatu errata. He's the best mission point piece we have. Maybe next I, to Herbie. I agree with that. Yeah, I think he is the best, but I'm putting him as C because I don't think it's a good. I have him as A also because you know how I feel about Pog teams, and he's the closest thing to a Pog team. True, that we kind of got right now, consistent. <laughs> Fair so, enough. Um, you uh, have his bystanders here for some reason. Um, yeah, because I was just ignore him. Um, <laughs> the Flash. I can we do this three pieces? No. It's three pieces. You're paying, you're paying points for three different dials. You, they're, they're different pieces. Sure, but so, you can play them I at mean, either one at the beginning of the game. So uh, No, you can't. You actually have to play them at the... Wait, you have to play wait, one at the first something time. out of order here? Do I not have a flash on mine? It's uh, after the two. It's after the two pogs. Oh, okay, yeah. I mean, Just but... move the pogs to last. Yeah, 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 I got you. So, um... I, I, but what can we? What if we just all agree? Or what if I just? I mean, for me, I mean, you can duplicate it if you want, I suppose. But yeah, I um, don't know how to do that, so I'm not going to do that. <laughs> we'll just do flash, one. The flash at thirty points, right? And I'll go. I'll repeat what I said on this thing. If you will never, ever, ever let a dark phoenix retail on your flash, then he's S tier. Where are you putting him? I said S. Yeah, but where are you putting him? You said oh, you're putting him S. Okay. Yeah, Dan's uh, never letting him get retailed. Is what he said. Uh, I, I'm saying, I'm saying for me personally, I don't think I'm good enough to never, ever, 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 ever let him get retailed. Uh huh. So he's probably not on my playlist personally. Um, but you know, between Justice League, between him going on to uh, the Latveria teams, and just his other general eight keywords, 
he's a very powerful and useful support and attacker. Mm-hmm. So all the, to me, all three dials are on S. You could come in and say, well, the middle dial, blah, blah, blah. But well, you know what? Three flashes for what you get is pretty good. And you know what? Enhancement and outwit and that free and targeting, improved targeting thing. You know what? That's pretty good, too. The infrared goggles is not bad. Yeah. It's a pretty powerful effect. So I, that's all S. All right. That's for I'm as well. Just not on my personal playlist. Hmm? I like him I'll a still, lot. I'll still get. I'll still get an own three. Sorry. <laughs> no, I just said I like him a lot. I like everything he does. Um, I wish that you could play um, the back dial at thirty. That you don't have to play the first one. Um, that would make him better, like more versatile, because then that back dial gets played on a lot more teams. Um, but yeah, I still think he's S. He's really, really good. Lex yeah, Luthor. Oh. I have him in S, it? so. Okay. Everyone can see uh, that I put him at, so. <laughs> uh, yeah, Lex Luthor. What are we thinking? So, so, I mean, you know, it's one of those things. I mean, Scott said on our podcast that Isaac has a team that he can't talk about. Yeah. So, if Isaac is planning on playing Isaac, that makes him an S. Lex, if he's Lex. playing Lex. <laughs> I, I'm just calling, I'm just calling Lex Isaac. It's cooler, it's cooler that way. Isaac I, Luther. Yeah, Isaac I, Luther. I want to put him in A. Um, I think he. I think you just. I think he is good enough to win at fifty points. Again, it's like you got to think though that the Secret Six has something done to them at some point. Because you yeah. just out with the movement power, then he gets all the way to his third click, right? Well, no, you just outwit. Outwits. Stop, right? Yeah, like, well, you can't. You can't. No, 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 because his... What are, you, what are you talking about? Oh, never mind. You just outwit his stop. Yeah, I can kill and then you just... Yeah, I get what you're saying now. So you have I to think... outwit. I think he still generates, to... doesn't he? Like, you yeah, still get the fogs? Would... Yeah, you still get the pogs, but he's dead. Right. Um, yeah, I get what you're saying. Now. You also have to out with the top down mastermind. So you out with the mastermind, then you out yeah. with the stop click, right? Um, um, yeah, he's very... Um, you have to work around him a lot to get the value out of him. Like, it's very... In most cases, in most games, I don't think you do. But he is one of the hardest... Out, like, it sucks that Secret 6 came out in the same set. Because if you didn't have Secret 6, he is so hard to kill. With, like, Mastermind onto Immune Pogs. So it's, like, minimum three turns to kill him. He's got Stop Mastermind, so you can't get around that. Knockback's harder to do. You can't TK opposing figures, so it's harder to separate them. Like, it, it's so hard to kill this guy. Like, it's literally, like, infinite damage doesn't kill this guy unless you have a way to separate him from his Pogs. Um... Or, obviously, if you can get through um, Safeguard Outwit. Well, I mean, you're only going to deal two to him, right? If you can, right? Because if you spin ring him, if you hit him, spin ring him, then you hit him again, there's another pop. Another pop pops out, right. Right. So. Yeah, it's very, very, very hard to kill this guy. Yeah, and then I... when he gets to his last click, then it becomes very, 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 very hard to kill him. I mean, you could. Yeah, you could poison him, can't you? But yeah, I mean, I mean, just I mean, are we just suddenly having a bunch of poison pop out of nowhere? I mean, I'm just saying anything that deals damage outside of an attack would kill oh, him. Oh, true. Yeah, because like, um, he only has mastermind, which is only attacks, and then it says you can't attack him. So yeah, that's, poison that's or poison. it's some like random things like yeah. um, ultimate carnage or something like that. Yeah, there, there's certain right. pieces but... that. But even so, right? Like energy, ex- like the other things don't get around it. Like energy explosion because the pogs are they can't the target, right? right? They can't attack and, him. Not that they can't right. target. And then, like pulse wave, and then, even like, pul- doesn't matter. Pulse wave doesn't matter because immune supersedes pulse wave. So, uh, I mean, you know, a critical hit does, but that's not even really a consideration for most games. 
I have him. Yeah. I have him at B just because no one has cracked the puzzle yet that we know of except Isaac. So, and that's enough. Um, <laughs> real quick, Justin is asking. Going back to Flash, Justin Raw, he's asking. You could choose any dial to play with Flash, can't you? Even at thirty. Uh, no, because it says um, during construction. Con force construction you may pay 20 points to also have flash start if he's on at 30 so you have to pay the 30 points initially for the trade to come into effect and with the 30 points it doesn't say you can pick any starting line yep i'm pretty sure is how it works right if you do yeah 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 so you may only add at 20 if you have a flash at 30 so and you only you get to pick the line choose. if you play 20 no, no, so you may choose, yeah, yeah, so you, you get to choose a line for, let's say you do two of them, mm -hmm. you can choose in between any three of the starting lines for all of them, for the mm -hmm. two of them, yeah. right? So you could have, you know, charge and outwit in one game, and then you can have outwit and TK in the next game. Yeah. But if you just pay for just a singular 31. Or no. Right? Yeah, because it says you must choose a distinct starting line for each one. If you do at the beginning of the game, you must choose a distinct starting line for each one, and they have thirty. Okay, but so it's a, if you do add a flash right. at twenty, yeah, you must choose right. a distinct starting line. So if yeah. you're not choosing a distinct starting line, then the standard yeah. So starting if you, line construct force construction comes into play. If you pay thirty, you just get. The, the dial that he starts on the standard dial. If you pay the 50, you can choose two of any of the three. Got it. We did it. We did it, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Firstborn. Yeah. Wait, you not. skipped oh. for Felix. Oh, I did. Shoot. I'm sorry. Felix. Uh, trash. Um, uh, D tier. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> no. He's got to be. At, he's got to be at least. He's at least an A. Um. Yeah, I mean, I just don't. It's hard to say that he's going to be a S. I mean, he's at least an A. Enhancement is so good now. Place enhancement is insane in my mind. Because there, I don't play a super ranged team, and I was craving an enhancement all day on in Ohio. Um, right. And this one, you can you can use it a lot. Uh, you can, you get to place him. You can carry him around. He does other stuff. Um, he's kind of hard to kill with super sense of stealth. Mystics is the negative. Um, doesn't die but to a dark phoenix. But, but, but realistically, too, like, you know, I think the other thing to think about in general, then, is he's only three clicks. <coughs> yeah. Right? And you can't perplex down your damage. True. So, most likely, if you're hitting this guy for Mystics... And I'm just kind of thinking of this right now. Like, oh, even I see like, what you're Yeah, you're most likely going to kill him, right? So you're going to take the Mystics and KO him, but then you don't get to retail because he's dead. Yeah, right. Um, for me, he, he's an S. He, he does so much. Enhancement's so good right now. Wit and Prob are both really good. Um, the only thing that it, I kind of wish he had was improved targeting hindering. That would put him over the top. Um but he's really good. I like him a lot. He is, as I said before, he's he's super, reminds me of Molecule Man. Same points, same click numbers. He does stuff for free, so you don't have to spend action economy on him. Let me ask you guys: Are you worried at all about the negatives of his trait? Not a ton. Um, double prob. I'm not super worried about. It's good, obviously, but it's um, you get that a lot with theme team probs now. Um, Double perplex. Your main. You since you can't do damage, it doesn't hurt you as much. They're only. They're getting an, an extra attack, most likely in, in um, on defense. Double outwit can be okay, but outwit. I was getting a little better, but I, I don't think it's a huge downside. Uh, and it's only on a one. The the upside is, is way better. Not not being able to use that power is so much better for you than it's worse for you that they get an extra one. I think. I'm just wondering because it's not a May, so no matter yeah, what happens, not. it happens. So it, there yeah. is that wild magic esque feel to it where <laughs> you're in there and it could t suddenly shift 
how the game could be played a little bit, especially if they get a second at wit. Like, oh, I'm going to out with this. Well, fine, I get to out with your de defensive power and shape change or something. Yeah, but a but a random effect a that is three wait times more likely for me is way better. So oh, wait a second, hang on, hang on. Um, if you keep rolling ones, do they get to keep using it? Um, I don't think so. When an opposing character yes, then right yes. That character can use that power an additional time this turn. And they use it that additional time, you gotta oh. roll it again. Yeah, but then you can... That makes it better. That makes it the power better, because half the time, if you roll a 1, then the next roll, they don't get to use that power. That makes them way better in my mind. It, I, I mean, you're not using it to hope he... Sure, the penetrating would be nice, and that might be clutch. Yeah, that's not what you're using. But I'm also worried about the times they get to keep using Outwit or keep using Perplex or whatever. I mean, because if you have a temple, like, God Emperor Doom has Perplex, right? So he doesn't care about the penetrating damage. He might care about not being able to use it. But This effect, he, he on average, is three times as good for you, right? Yeah. 50, so 50% of the time. Yeah, I'm fine with that. That's except, good. except retail. Yes, retail is the the negative for sure. Because they don't have to attack you; they can just come <laughs> up and say, "I perplexed myself. Oh, I took a damage. I get to retail." That's yeah. true. Probably not enough. He's certainly an A. I have him in B because I, the wild damage is. You're insane. I I I mean, sure, outwit prob enhancements great. I get it, and he can free plays, it's but so good. there's a lot of good thirty point and lower pieces like Molecule Van, Mad Thinker, like a lot of Valeria. Yeah, yeah, this guy is as good as those pieces. Yeah, but Valeria's not getting my team killed just be by being within eight of the enemy. She can, right? She you can carry up and place her, and then she, you take a damage, and then they retail. Okay, Valeria is a bad example because I forgot about that one power. Fine. Okay. Molecule Man is not getting me killed. True. Unless he just rolls a one on his smoke cloud barrier and then you just zip to my team. This guy is just a more offense focused Molecule Man in my mind, and I like him better than Molecule Man because he's also he's a sneaky good attacker. Don't sleep on that. Ten um, for two. Yeah. I mean, the 8, I get it, and the free place. That's, yeah, that's why! And the Psychic Quest, <laughs> right? Like, if they have a Dark Phoenix that the rest of your team can't hit, this guy only needs a 7 with a prob, right? And he's going to get there, most likely. Mm -hmm. I love him. Okay. Hades. I can't wait to see you play him. Uh, first, Firstborn. 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 Um, I'm going to see. I'm going to see him. I, just because he's, he's cool. He's a cool. Yeah. He's a cool vampire. I mean, yeah. C for C for cool. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Hades is dumpster. D for dumpster. I put him C. I hate him. I hate mission about mission him. point, but that tortured soul thing could get out of hand pretty quickly. There are there, and I mean that from like body blocking, not as like attackers with autonomous. Right. They don't have that. I mean, just literally, you go against a sidekick team. And you just start killing sidekick pieces, things start getting out of hand pretty quickly. But still, see the, tor the tortured souls are. Yeah, I mean, I just like it. Okay, that's fine. Um, Grail is bad. No, I'm so torn on Grail, dude. I'm so, she's so good and sealed. I agree with the, she is a she is a really solid charge piece and sealed. That the, her, minus, her, her minus one to attack with everyone in four is great, but she could just get shot. So, yep. I agree, Jesse. Uh, Jesse Cote, uh, Hades is an amazing video game. He said Hades is a D, but he loves Hades, his video game. Game of the year for twenty twenty for sure, for sure. Um. Wonder yeah, like yeah, Dude, Grail is D. It pains me to say that. <laughs> Sorry, I thought you were just... um, Tyler, did you turn your fan back on? Sorry. Involve oh, or Wonder Woman? <laughs> she has involve. <laughs> um, she's the same as the other one. She's a solid. She is a solid charge piece and sealed. Which means she's not good in the meta. Eight clicks is pretty good though. 
Yeah, but the other one had eight clicks. Yeah, but she also... <laughs> she also ev uh, like evades pretty easily. Like, uh -huh. you know, it's a four through six, and then she could just deal you one if she hits that super sense roll. I'm just saying eight clicks for 90 points, and that power, and she deals penetrating with critical. It's not great. I don't know if I'd give her a D, though. I definitely do. She's a solid charge piece. She, she might have game. she might have a role on Amazon, maybe. <coughs> but probably do. Um Chip is just an instant ass. Eh? Prime oh. Wonder Woman. Oh, I apologize. I apologize. Dude, great. How do you keep skipping things? <laughs> like there there's icons right there. I'm actually on the other page most of the time. Um <coughs> Yeah, uh Prime Wonder Woman, I, I actually like her. Um, a decent amount. Uh, probably more than I said on the podcast. Um, she's got solid values, right? She's basically 12 for 4 charge piece. She's got the two stop clicks that you auto heal off of. Um, she's obviously a vampire. Um, time out. Time out. Uh huh. Uh huh. I, we have to rate this S because we were advised from the future to rate this an S. By who? Go to the HC Rounds page, in the main page. Go to like the, the normal <laughs> thing. Bottom, click stop. Rate this an S tier or else, and it's from tomorrow. <laughs> Boy, what the? What? <laughs> April twenty eighth, twenty twenty one. I, I uh, okay. I, I feel uh, yeah. there's some apocalypse level thing happening <laughs> here if I don't render an S. I'm, I'm putting her an S. Um, I mean, yeah, whoever. Oh. I'm so confused. Now they, it's probably because they're in another country that's already April 28th. If you're wondering uh, why it says that, but okay. I, I scrolled oh. down, saw this, I. <laughs> Dude, they might be watching right now. That'd be so funny. Um, they, they've they've got to be watching right now. I know. And Casey Superman, I don't think expose is... them. Anonymity is important on Rails. Yeah, we got. We got. Yeah, we got to. We got to keep the secret. I have no, no idea no, who it is. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know who it is, but I think that he is uh, American. So. Oh okay. Um, but then it, I think. It wouldn't be awesome, in the future. But but that's awesome if Casey Superman is watching us right now that blows my mind <laughs> that's, Dude, so, that's so funny I, like to be fair like so like this may will be five years i'm doing the podcast uh-huh and like this comment makes me feel like I, we've made it <laughs> yeah kind of that's really cool i mean i'm on the flip side of i just watched the snyder cut so i feel like this is some dark side level <laughs> keep lois lane alive type things or she's the key so i'm like i guess i gotta make her a nest here because otherwise superman's gonna could join dark side um, or something yeah but so talking about the piece i do like it um i actually i really want to find a figure that makes um uh waldo arms work because i like waldo arms a lot and i like her with waldo arms because you can obviously if you roll a five or a six she can carry up and get the close attack she can double target in cap if you get that um she, she, the monster's gotten a lot better, you know. You can carry her up with Onslaught if you want to. You can take her out with Onslaught, something like that. Um, so I'm going to put her at a B. I think she's pretty solid. She can also switch between the Wonder Woman stuff. It's not nearly as good um, because <laughs> she doesn't have the Wonder Woman team ability. <laughs> Jesse Cote said, my VPN is paying off. I don't, I don't think VPNs work on on time. But, um, also, Paul uh, Cote mentioned that Faust is less risky than Mother, and Mother is the one you should compare Faust to. Uh, maybe. So. I, it's just 30 points. Yeah, there's so many. You know, I, 30 points is my favorite point line. Yeah, here's but she, the thing, right? So for like 50 points, mm -hmm. like, for 50 points, the Bizarro chases mostly were S tier. At least uh, Green Arrow and Joker were, and Wonder Woman were. Yeah, those three were good. And now you've got two stop clicks at the end of the dial. Which is good. Heal, that you can heal off of. And Which not fun. only that, she has Charge Flurry. And ignore characters. And she yeah. flies. And if she hits with the first attack, she can move two squares, automatically break away before making her second 
So you get a little bit of Vulture, a little bit of healing, a little bit of Bizarro chases. I mean, I'm not just saying it's because of KC Superman. I mean, I am because I'm probably moving her from A to S because of KC Superman. Dang. Okay. If, I just if she wasn't a prime, just, I would be with you. But monster does not necessarily hurt for a prime. It doesn't, but uh, she would be better if you could play more than one of her. Is Doppelganger a monster? Uh, maybe. Yeah, he is. Okay, so I'd probably play Doppelganger, but I I also have her an S, um, not because of KC Superman. I'd probably with you, but two stop clicks for 60 points, yeah. you have to deal her a lot of damage to kill her, and you have to commit, because... If you Did leave you know? her on either stop click, she's gonna heal above it just by steel energy. Yeah. So, well, no, just by yeah. doing literally nothing. <laughs> yeah, and if you give her Carnage Symbiote to get, and you can, I think you can choose which one heals, right? Like, I heal with Carnage Symbiote first, and then steel energy. Uh, probably if they're right. going to Yeah, so you can use yeah. the Carnage Symbiote to get back up to click four, and then say, all right, now I use steel energy to heal. Past my starting line. Yeah. So, um, you got it. And 60 points is such a low amount like to pay for, for that, this sure. piece. Yeah. So it's unfortunate because I hate when super rare primes are good because then they're what? particularly surprised. But I think that the equipment thing kind of hurts her because I want to equip her with other things like wallow arms, right? Yeah, I don't know if I'm actually equipping her with the Sword of Athena. None of them are that good. You don't really want Blades because she's going to deal four. Um, you don't. The, she already has Invuln and she doesn't get the extra thing. That, so the best would be just the either in cap with double in cap, which isn't awful, but it's not free. Is that how that works with the Wonder Woman? What's the? I don't know, look it up. Well, she Black. starts with the the Sword of Athena. Yeah, but she can switch. Um, well, no, not at the start of the. No, she just starts the game with the Sword of Athena. Yeah, and then she can switch. That's what the items do. They let you switch. Oh, uh, the the items allow you to switch. I thought most of them had a trait that said if you switch, but I guess you're right. I think so. Yeah. Um, in cap range value of four. Um, yeah, if, if it's named Wonder Woman, remove this object yeah. from the game. Don't score it. Okay, 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 okay. Um, free. Wait, wait. What's the Wonder Woman thing? Wonder Woman ally team ability. Each opposing character adjacent. So okay, so she still gets the free double in cap. It just doesn't AOE at that point. Um, but it's free four range in cap. So that's the one who probably use. Yeah. Uh, yeah either um, that, or if you want to protect her, give her what golden armor. No, oh, no, no. She's involved. never on her starting click. No, she always has involved. She is on her starting click. That's what that counts as. But oh yeah, she that's true. Doesn't get the bonus. Um. Yeah, she's good. But. Yeah, I'm still putting her at B just because she's a prime. If I could use more than one of her, or she wasn't competing directly with um, the other guy, she's really good. Casey she's... Superman, you've convinced me, man. You maybe not <laughs> uh, like on purpose. But I will go ahead and say this in a preview of our next podcast: Doppelganger was not as impressive as I thought he was. Really? Oh, okay. Yep. All right. Fair enough. Um, I might keep her at a B though. Uh, Chip, Chip. is yes. That's what everybody else keeps telling me, but when I suggest to you guys to use Chip, <laughs> y'all are like, man, Chip is garbage. Wait, when did I say that? Did I say that? I... Yeah. I think I said that. I mean, not in such words, but... What team? I don't even remember this. The Animal? The Herald, the Herald team. Oh, the... yeah, I don't like that Herald team, but Chip is the best piece on that team. I like Her... I like Chip. Um, Chip's instant S for me just because he does so much. He's gonna see. He's gonna see play. Like he, he's very, very, very good. Uh, is he gonna see play or is he gonna see wins? He's gonna see wins yep. because he's gonna see enough play. <laughs> just being yeah. able to carry your whole team up and then be like, all right, I placed these people now. I'm gonna sidestep and move everyone back. Sidestep is so good with Green Lantern team ability. Oh. It's, oh. it's and carrying not losing speed of pa uh, speed value is yeah. huge. He's definitely got better. Do you, do you not think he, are you like on the fence between S and A, Dan? I'm on the fence between S and D. 
<laughs> okay. Um, because, Emily, because, no. I, because, because I don't know what to think with you guys sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> That's why this makes it valuable entertainment. He makes constructs, too. Like, he... Like, two? Well, he makes one, like, realistically. But it, that okay. one is really good. He makes two. Spotlight might do something. No, you, use, you use Spotlight right. to get a trouble alert out. You can use the, a, oh, the, the other thing, the other guy makes the catcher's mitt that we already argued about. Yes. Well, they both can do it, right? He can make either. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm with you. Title Wonder Woman. Um, She's D. For me, I hate her. I hate everything about her. I think she's one of the worst title figures we've ever gotten. Wow, we've got title <laughs> Professor X, dude. She's she, way better than title Professor X. Do we need to her remind stuff, herself? Her stuff doesn't do anything. She's like her her she's, plus one is, is awful. I mean, not if you're on a Amazon team. Yes, it is. It's still not good. It's it's a it's a it's a way 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 worse perplex. I mean, she could consistently every other turn make an Amazon warrior. It's not terrible. I have her a C just because. I think she's real bad. I she's a title character and her minus five is pretty legit, <coughs> but it's cool. I applaud the B. attempt. But did you say B? D. Okay, yeah. thank you. you got I put I put C yeah. just for someone who makes an amazing Amazon team with Etta Candy to uh, make this work. You know what? I will gladly be proven wrong by Title Wonder Woman and Etta Candy. <laughs> if if y'all win a WKO attended by 15 or more people and win a WKO with 15 or more people with a team that includes one and a, one Etta Candy and Oh, Title give them the or. Woman. Give them the or. Uh, no, I'm not giving them the or. It's the and. Um, we will happily have you on the podcast. You said if they win a WKO, is that what you said? I think you would, ex with or 15, a regional, with, right? With 15 or more? Yeah, WKO type event with Title Wonder Woman and Etta Candy. You know what? I would even include a sealed WKO in that. <laughs> okay. That's not fair. There's not going to be any sealed WKOs. So. Hey, he's magnanimous. Well, okay. Plus, I'm already on the podcast, so. <laughs> All right. I'm not um, playing this piece. I might try other... an event. Who knows? <clears throat> the other Wonder Woman is um, just A, just like the last one, right? B. Yeah. The shifting focus? B for me, but yes. What? I have oh, all of the shifting have... focus at B. Okay. I don't think I'm... they are like a staple or gonna be top cuts consistently. I think well, so it's, do you... it's just gonna be PJ playing it twice. Well, so like, do you, you realize? I'm I'm assuming you do, but for our listeners, right? So you carry her over, whatever. However, you get her across the map, she free end caps. Switch to the other one, free end caps. So they're double targeted. They have minus two to their defense. Then you retail with yeah. the massive. Like Giganta that does four damage. Okay, yeah. I just want to make sure. No, I get all of that. I'm saying how many people are going to be consistently playing it and making top cuts? I see PJ being the only one. So I think it's good enough to see some play. Um, so I'm I'm gonna put it at A. I mean that's a I'm, that's a fair enough assessment. <laughs> yeah, I think B B is. You know, it won't be on winning builds, but it'll make top cuts. Like, sure, it'll be on a winning build, maybe, but I don't see it making top cuts consistently. So that's where I'm kind of torn, because A is yeah. winning yeah. and making top cuts, but I don't see it making top cuts. I see PJ just winning consistently with it, and then <laughs> abandoning it after, like, three goes, because he wants to play Find something else. else. Yeah, because that's the great thing about PJ. Yeah. So. All right. Um, the chase right, so is chase. King Shazam. I have an so, issue. <laughs> Go ahead. So, are we going to rate case? Are we going to rate King Shazam with the fact that you can outwit his attack power before you hit him? Can you? Is I'm not that going to get? Is that going to get? Is that going to get fixed? I assume it gets fixed. Let's just. Can we, I think we can assume that pretty safely. 
Oh no! But either way, if you want to raid him the other way. Um, my problem with him is that I want to raid him... I know, we just at... gotta be... We gotta, we gotta be consistent. Are we rating him fixed or unfixed? I would say fixed, just because of the likelihood it happens. That's my Alex, do you, do you concur? Sorry, my my Chrome just crashed, so keep keep it keep it talking. <laughs> oh no! Yeah. Um, oh gosh. Um. So let's. I want to go. If, if if I go fixed, he's a. If I go unfixed, he's a C. Dang. I think. I think he goes on the the Secret Six team most of the time, in my opinion. So I like but just based on that, I think he's an S because that team is good enough to be an S. But my problem is then that the tier just kind of break down because he's an S, but he's like half as good as Sky Tyrant, who is also an S. So it's weird. Right. right. Well, that's the thing, right? Like, well, that's the other point, right? I mean, a AI Groot was an S, right? Mm -hmm. But I, I think that's a bad example because he's always an S. Right, like, but yeah, yeah, I mean, a, a support a support piece can be an S. That's okay. No, no, no. That's not, I'm saying he. I don't think he's good enough to see play on any other team. But because that specific team is so good, I think it pushes him up. So he's not uh, as good as the other uh, figures in S. But he's S because he'll be played on that team. So I'm saying. Well, that's fine. That that's okay. Yeah. I don't think that that's an issue. It just think... annoys me that they're in the same thing, but they're this one's like half as good as Sky Tyrant. Just a, just a Roth ask, I think, because I'm still trying to get my thing back up. Uh, what's the problem with him that needs fixed? Um, so right now you can uh, out, so you can pre yeah, outwit his sure. attack power on his like special stop non stop click, and then once he gets there, there's nothing in the rules that says he he gets that power back. We're assuming, because in the old rules, that that's fixed, because the, the duration of Outwit stops when you gain Protected Outwit. But it's not currently in the Wonder Woman starter rules. But so I you're think... saying we need the no, 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 no. No, you're, you're, no, no, no. You, huh? You're, you're, you're both wrong. Okay. Um, so I, I didn't really say that. that. Yeah, Alex just said it. we needed the, the comp rule book. <laughs> I, well, stay, I, I stated wrong. truth. Well, <laughs> no, yeah, no, 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 sorry. So I'll, whatever. Let me, yeah, let me clarify. So his attack power on his special click. Okay, it says the first time this click is revealed, King Shazam has immune until your next turn. It is not a stop click. So there's nothing that grants him protected outwit. So you can pre-outwit oh, it, no. right? So he will still go to click 11. So you know how you were saying... You know, he can be a, a he's a three tapper, yeah. right? Well, he's a 50.2 tapper now because you outwit him, side blast him for four, and then hit him, hit his 14 defense with nearly any. Oh, I see what you're saying because immune just says you can't be targeted, but you targeted him before he gained immune. Right. Uh, he, never gained, he never gains immune because he never has that power. Oh, true. Okay. Maybe they won't fix that maybe that was i don't know if intended but that's just how the rules work yeah um could be unless they are i think that would need an errata not even a, a rules clarification um and i don't know if he gets that definitely makes him worse i'll put him an a yeah i mean i think he's a solid a because of that right if he's fixed maybe he goes back to the <coughs> s but i think he's a either way um and he's like not... he's just not as good as the other pieces on that team, I guess. I'm putting right. him at. I'm putting him at B because I just don't think he's actually gonna see play. Like, okay. like I like, he's a great piece, but is he gonna win? I don't see people dishing out 150 for him. So is no, his 50 he... dial good enough? I'd rather play another Sky Tyrant. Well, so. so... It's very specific on that team. Like you, he he's good because really you only need one Sky Tyrant because he goes off on that first turn, um, and he's good because you can move him up halfway. And he he used to be like you couldn't kill him that turn. Now mm -hmm. without wit, you maybe you could. 
Um, so that's why he's not as good. But um, so moving up like an object, as an example, or you know, getting an outwit or a prob line up there, um, was better in my opinion than having a second sky charming. But no, it might yes. be changed. I... Uh, Scarab. Wait. Yes. I'm looking okay. at the comments as well. Uh, yeah, I got it. I, I, I can't get back to the, the creative studio to see it that way. It doesn't let me for some reason. But oh. I can see comments on the on the post. <clears throat> That's annoying. Yeah, it's yeah. it's weird, but it's okay. Um, Sky Tyrant. S- or yeah, S- Scarab. S- oh my gosh, S- Tyler, you're killing me with these skipping pieces. No, no, no I saw oh, it. Like, okay. we don't really need to talk about it right that <laughs> we've went we over it we, in our... we don't we went over in our set review there's more things to talk about in the future we... i feel like everybody knows why they're s <laughs> so the yeah scare of guys are right now we don't we're going to talk about uh-huh. it more on our next podcast let me let me ask you this about scarab huh is there rulings that they could make that would knock him down a tier for you. And I don't mean like erratas that'd be like, uh, Scarab is now no. super vulnerable. I mean like legitimate ones you could see them making, like no. ruling his max damage thing or saying you could stand on an object and he can't target anybody, like, which is unlikely to happen, but that's an interaction we don't have a right. ruling for currently. Yep. So So there's the fact that Gigantic can deliver an object it takes away the the worry about um standing on it standing on the object the other thing about it he can only deal one damage right so let's say you still had toughness right scarab will never hurt you right well the thing is scarab can outwit all the reducers so like you outwit dark phoenix's Stop. impervious or outwit her stop or impervious or whatever and then you just hit her for one so that's fine and then yeah, the commissioner lets you do it again even the worst case I don't think um, makes him less than S for sure <coughs> that's fair But I was just asking because uh, yeah, we're, no, we're automatically fair. putting him S we're already crowning the secret six as the new meta hotness that's going to be insane but it, it's one of those, okay, does any erratas or any rulings make him not nearly as good as we thought? I think he's still going to be good. Um, I just... It, it's going to take specific people to be able to play the team efficiently. So... I think... I, th- I think that they're really good outside of that. Um, more is Scarab. Scarab is just a really good piece on a lot of teams. He doesn't have to be themed at all. He's just he's just very solid as a, even a, just as a fifty point support piece, right? Um, so I don't think so. Okay. Um, Death Bringer. Sky, did we already just say Sky Tyrant's ass also? Or and Dan did, but do you have anything to add? <laughs> um. I'm kind of in the boat that he might be overhyped. That doesn't mean that he's in a, okay. not in S tier. I think he's a little overhyped, but he's still an amazing piece. I just don't think he's like unstoppable or I think so I think there's ways you could just handle him, but he's still S tier cuz I think he's going to be consistently on a lot of teams that win. I just don't think he's the be all end all of meta currently that people are saying. Um, past gets some Laveria too, right? Uh, yes, it's future and past, I believe. And cosmic, yeah. All right. Um, Deathbringer is she worth considering? Yeah, at all? he's. I oh. mean, he's he's. Uh, Alex, putting any doubt into how good Sky Tyrant is hurts me because <laughs> I will go ahead and say it again. That even though he only, if he hits with both flurries, he only goes back 12. <laughs> if he kills a pog, if he goes, yeah, whatever. <laughs> right? If he kills a pog, you have to go deal him four damage, then another damage. If uh, he kills more than that, he gets more freaking resurrection tokens. Is the resurrection, it's not. So it's not protected pulse wave. So that's something to watch out for. You kill him, then right, pulse wave, so he dies. So Go ahead and get him to his last click, let him resurrect, and then pulse wave him because that's just super common. It's not, but it it 
it might be the easiest way to kill them, so just watch out for that in the future. I'm not saying it makes yeah, it more. I think, I'm just saying I, I think at any rate, though, you still have to hit him twice for 50 points. Yeah. Easy. Let me ask you this. Are either of you going to play Secret Six? Maybe. I don't know what I'm playing right now. I kind of like PJ's I mean, Robot. I'm going to practice that next. So, the... No, the answer is most likely no for me. But that doesn't mean that just because I don't play it doesn't mean that it's not good. No, yeah, I'm not I'm not saying it that way. I'm saying here's here's the reason I'm I'm not soured on Secret 6. I'm just thinking about it. And I'm thinking I don't think it's a quick plug, plug and play team. I think there's a little bit of finesse. So it's not like a a, a net deck team. Where you're like, oh, I'm always going to play two Scarab, a Commissioner, Sky Tyrant, blah, 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 Gigantas, and just win. So I feel like there needs to be a little finesse. And I just don't know how many people are... A lot of people are going to try it. I just don't know how many people are going to win with it. It's still great. I'm just... It's one of those that when a build gets so hyped, I'm like, I get it. But I feel like a majority of the time, the hype doesn't deliver. The problem is, is that like it's combined with wide open map that are currently legal, and like the high, I don't know, the hype is real because they get around protected outwit. But we haven't seen it yet. That's that's the only hesitation. I know this is before we see builds or events. I get it. I'm just saying, like I'm still putting them in S tier. I'm just sitting there thinking, we've had teams before where they were hyped. And sometimes they don't deliver as an S tier. They deliver as, oh, they've kind of won, but I don't know. There's just something in the back of my head that's like, this is cool, but I feel like we're crowning it too early. That's the only, that's the only thing. Deathbringer. Right. Deathbringer. Deathbringer. Um, is this, does she do something that makes her not D? I don't think so. I think she's D for meta. She's, I don't think she she's, she's the retail, so she's... Uh, yeah, and it's a free. That's true. Um, so she's, a, she's probably a C, right? I mean, her, she, she's C for IRL clicks. Um, she also... Her attack um, is... That's essentially flurry, right? Only better. Oh, no, it's a 4 through 6. Basic character Oh, no, so you have to have 4 through 6. So it's half the time it's flurry. Um, yeah, I, I don't think she does enough. I think she's D. She can th also make that close attack after she retails. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's true. And then she can regularly attack. So she pumps out a lot of, a lot of, a lot of juice for the squeeze. Oh, she so could, if she gets to retail, she could technically hit four times in a turn. Because she retails. No, once per turn when she. Oh, uh, it's once the... per turn. Okay, you're right. So three times. Yeah, so the thing is, is like IRL clicks, she's probably a C. Online clicks, where you don't have to own anything, she's a D. Is there any merit to that? Like, how often are Secret Six dying? Um, not, not Sky sure. Tyrant, obviously. But is Scarab dying or one of the Gigantas? Gigantas probably die pretty, pretty often. Because um, she gets to just place against any opposing character. Yeah, I know. Uh, to... Oh, true, right? right? If instead one friendly character with a secret six keyword was KO'd since your last turn and no other friendly characters have been placed, place her adjacent to an opposing oh. character, then make That's an attack. True. So, I mean, That's there's true. maybe something there with that. Like, makes her yeah, makes her C to me instead of D. So maybe, uh, like, on the team as player 50, you just send her out. Um, and then... So you send you send out a giganta. They either have to kill the giganta, which then she goes off, or the giganta, you know, has the object in your starting area next turn. Either way, you have an object in their starting area next turn because she can carry an object too. That's yeah, it's pretty cool. It's just, do you want to play her over a, another sky tyrant or a scarab? Maybe over um, King Shazam now because of the outwit thing. I'll move her up to C. The the, the retail's not bad, and the the because gigantas are running out there. <laughs> or Scarab gets retailed on for whatever yeah, reason. Yeah, so if I don't think if you move a Giganta out there, just one Giganta non-prime, I don't think they can kill it if she's on the team, 
right? Because she gets to play, she'll have her, like three perplexes on her. She could be placed and then try to charge to drop an object. Um, and then you're really screwed. That's she, cool. she can make three attacks potentially. So yeah, because she can, because she can re place over attack with the retail. Oh wait. Yeah, place with the retail roll. If you get it, you attack again, and then she can eat charge attack. And don't forget, she does have giant reach three. Yeah. Oh, so you don't even have to break. A... No, you have to place her adjacent, don't you? Yeah, right, but so... breakaway is not that big of a deal, remember? Because well, it is for her because she has to move to drop the object. Deathbringer's bringing an object. Oh, she I get you. I get you. I get you. I got you. I like her. I'm moving her to B. I like her. Uh, yeah. C, but there might be a there might be a combo for B. That's kind of cool. Tyler, I agree. B -b 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 Actually, if I have King if I have King Shazam at B, I'm moving Deathbringer up. Which is good because I have one, so. <laughs> oh, she's an S for sure. Yeah, man. S, man. <laughs> $250 piece right here. I don't All think right. I've gotten her yet. I think I got the Supergirl. Maybe I uh, she's a D then. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, commissioner is probably the best piece in the set. Yeah, I mean, 25 points, right? He brings back his group, and he generates a better pog than Groot did. Mm -hmm. That's true. And he uh, has outwit. And, and he has improved words. targeting hindering. And he has police team ability. Oh, and he you know he does all the other secret six shit. And the power action. He <laughs> it's hard it's and he has good keywords. Well not great keywords, I guess. Secret six, um police and monster are all good. Detectives meh. Gotham City might be played. Um, you know, it's yeah. been it's been a while, but he can always join the Avengers. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> um, I am kind of with what Scott said in our podcast. If you are playing unthemed and you're not playing this guy, I think you're wrong. Unless you're you can't afford him, <laughs> you're wrong or you're broke. Um, because. I cannot think of a reason not to play this 25-point piece on a non-themed team. You're wrong so or you're broke. <laughs> yeah, wrong. you're wrong or you're broke. <laughs> um, wow. Yeah, I think Super that's how good it is. Supergirl D. Yeah, she's the one that's just not... Sorry, Dan. <laughs> but yeah, she's not uh, not doing it. I definitely part. do have a Supergirl one. I'm going to keep her. I mean, Supergirl. She doesn't have her special cool thing on her top click. It's annoying. What's am I missing something? What's the benefit to them gaining the monster keyword? Her secret six trait, she gets a plus one attack against shared keyword pieces. Shared keyword, thank you. Yep. You know that's uh, a that's another thing. Like in sealed, I played Deathbringer, and that was one. She has the same trait. It's one where it's not explicitly said because of the way this is worded. Supergirl modifies attack plus one when attacking one or more characters with a shared keyword. Uh -huh. So you would think, obviously, super a shared keyword to Supergirl. But because it says one or more characters with a shared keyword... Like, it it obviously means to Supergirl, but I could see the way it's worded. It would confuse a lot of newer players. Because hey. you would say, like, do their figure... If I'm attacking one or more, do they have to share... To get a plus no. one, like do I have to attack two people? I, I think if it, I think it was if it was two or more, it would be confusing. But it says it's one or more, it's fine. All right. So anyway, I want to go. I want to go ahead and move us along through the through the lanterns here. No, 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 no. There's good lanterns. I'm just saying. Just let's get to them. All right, Sinestro. Um, he's at least a C. I kind of want to place him in a B. Harold is good. Warrior is good. Um, his thing. No, you just told me Harold was. Bad <laughs> I said day. that specific team you showed me. I didn't like. There are good Harold pieces. No, I, I I asked specifically. I was like, "What do we think about Harold?" Here's my thought, and you're like, "Oh, it's all bad." I didn't. I I, I apologize. I was not clear. You are being a terrible. You are being a terrible <laughs> texting person. Man. I was. I was not a fan of that specific team. Harold, in general, could see some play. 
Right, uh, as long as you include a Watu on your hair. <laughs> Did you just uh, not like it because it included a Watu? I, not just, but that was, <laughs> was one of the reasons. Um, I'm going to put him in a C, though. Okay. Uh, I'm going to put him in a B. I've, I almost had him in an A, but I realized the other chases I put as a B. He's good. Like, he's yeah, a very, nice. very solid 50-point piece. Like, he's got the range to attack. He, he Sure, he can maybe die. The construct's not bad. Like, gives you barrier. Sure, it's not autonomous, but gives you a barrier, barrier construct. And then opposing characters within two squares can't use improved movement. That might be something better before the movement rules are changed. But the, the yep. free heal? I don't like that. But I like the free place. You don't like the free heal on adjacent character one click? Huh. It's just a free action to just... Uh. The other one's not a place, though. It's not... Well, I guess not back as a place. I get that. It's Yeah, I'm, it's, it's because it can't do damage is essentially a place. Why do you want, like, a free heal one click? Because I don't think you heal enough. I think on a, if, you, if someone plays a turn right, they kill the thing to hit. So I don't think healing comes into it much. Okay. I still have him at B, because I think he's a very solid 50-point piece. The Flash. I want a light Flash. Oh, man! The future again, guys! Clicks off the B rating on Wonder <laughs> Woman's sad face. He's following us. Casey Superman. We did not do that. Anyway. Um, I have him in the same spot, a B. I like him. Got prob. He might see play like a like I had mentioned on a some sort of alpha strike team to get through barrier, and you got the prob. Um, he's a solid attacker. Um, I like his autonomous thing because it can make an attack pretty easily for trouble alerts or whatever you want. Um, he's yeah, he's real solid. I'm doing C. I I just don't think he's gonna see play. I like Flash at a B. Tyler, I agree with. Uh, Guy Gardner. Man, I talk about hype. <laughs> I think it's over. I'm putting him as an A. He is a very good, uh, very high damage oh, charge I think, piece. I think he's. I think he's very good, and the construct is good. Um, the lack of giant reach, though, on the chainsaw is an issue. Um, yeah. But, I mean, he's a solid A, right? I mean, the, but yeah. he also encounters the things that Alpha Strike teams always encounter, is once they move up and do their thing, then what? Uh -huh. If they move up and do their thing and win, but that doesn't happen a high, consistent amount of the time. They have to be able to last after that. Right. But he now will do a lot of time. damage. <laughs> Yeah, he will wreck your stuff if you don't deal with him. Yep. Um, um guy. Nope. How no. Jordan? How how? Yeah, the other Green Lantern. That... He's uh, yellow this one... time. He's D. Yeah, he's D. He's so sad. It's it's a cool. His salt sculpt is super cool, but um, yeah, he yeah. he he doesn't do anything. It's bad. I mean, uh, I I'm doing D on principle just because they screwed up the construct. I don't know how you make that mistake. <laughs> Sure. Sorry. Uh, Sorry. I. It's just. <laughs> how do you say in one trait that combat values can't be modified and then give them close combat expert, like that? They're literally right next to each other, like on the card, like yep. it's really close. So, nope. Um, Jessica Cruz is an B for me. Very very solid dial. Good attacker. She has enhancement. She can make the good Green Lantern construct. Um, just solid. I think. I should make the bad one too, but <laughs> yeah. She's True. C. And Justice League too. I agree with B. I put C because we have two other better Green Lanterns. We do. Yeah, that's true. So but... it's like, but so is she going to be on winning teams? No, because we have two other better Green Lanterns. I I can see oh. some sort of situation where you play her um on like a Justice League team over the other the 50 point one if you want like enhancement or you don't need um like an outwit or something maybe somebody might try that oh uh, somebody might try that sounds like won't make top cuts but could be tried in regionals or winamax <laughs> aka c all right 
<laughs> see. <laughs> um, Wonder I'm Woman. Very sad that the Wonder Woman's dial is not reversed, like the attack powers and movement power. You want? Oh, you want the sidestep, like yeah, who, who, damage up front. Who's gonna Who's gonna charge in? <laughs> And then get damage and be like, oh, I hope I hit the sidestep break to side blast you. That's true. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to side blast you. Then when you come up and charge me, I want to be able to hit you back. Is it, Will anyone ever, like, like equip her with emotional modifier on an alpha team to give them all plus two attack? It's like Micron, Micron Atom plus two attack or something, do you think? Just asking. Because, you know, plus Does one the attack. Does modifier give out plus one attack, or you just mean the minus one defense? Doesn't it? Oh, it is minus one defense, isn't but it? But that actually is better, because she gives out plus one attack. But, yeah. See, I could see her maybe seeing play with the shifting focus, because you're already double tokening and lowering their defense minus two, and... Now they have plus two to attack. All your people have plus two attacking this single person. Well, the issue is that this Wonder Woman also does not have Justice League. Well, they have Amazon. So I'm looking at oh. Amazon wise. Oh, yeah, yeah. You could play all, all right. three, and that's a that's a pretty <coughs> big combo. Like <coughs> it is, and you can Giant Woman too, or Giant. I, I'm actually Again. gonna put her at a B with the other Wonder Woman. <coughs> I could see her fifty points isn't much. Her construct does the free thing, so if you whiff on all the lassos, well, you've got an autonomous in cap that does the same thing as the lasso. Yeah. Um, and then you can bring in the if you if you miss that many times, you bring in the Wonder Woman, and she can free in cap. Dude, she dude, here. PJ, we see it, we see it now, we've got <laughs> it. <laughs> um. Yeah, I, I'm putting her in. Vitaz Wonder Woman can't do the free and can't. Well, she does like the lasso thing that's free that gives tokens. Oh, it's not yeah. Her that her is... construct does the in cap. No, no, I was, you're talking about Vitaz Wonder Woman doing the if you're adjacent to oh, the character. Oh, that's what I was talking right, about. Right, 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 right. Yeah. Yeah. The thing that killed my lockjaw one time. <laughs> I love that piece. I played her on all of my builds. I should still. I don't know if I have her. I don't know where she is. Anyway, um. <laughs> Yeah, that's the... So, what we didn't include here was the equipment <laughs> we talked about that's going to be later this summer, and then the legacy cards, while neat, they're, I mean, y'all don't want to hear us say D-tier. <laughs> now, we keep leaving this out. I feel like we left it out on the podcast. Are we not talking about the play-at-home Wonder Woman? Uh, I didn't think she merited it. Does she's she? got that, she's got a, that invisible jet thing. Bystander. What does it do? I don't even know. Free generate an invisible jet. Um, it's passenger one, and moves twelve. Involves super senses, and it's a four through six super. I don't see why that's good. I'm just asking. We did. We like overlooked it, yeah, and we, we were did. like, "Oh, this is garbage." But at the same time, it's like she gets the Wonder Woman equipment, fifty points. I get it. Invisible jet, autopilot, but only for friendly character named Wonder Woman is on the map. Invisible jet. Is not dealt unavoidable when given the action. Yeah, I mean, she's probably not great, but we just never talk about her. And there might be someone that's like, what about the play at home kit? So, she would... The play at home is D. Yeah, she would go in <laughs> D, most likely. But there's a reason why we haven't talked about her. And that's the same reason why we're not talking about any of the legacy cards? Yeah, no. I've, I've looked through them. There's fun. There, there's some cool ones. I like the KC actually, like as a as a fun piece. But yeah. yeah, it's just some of these dials don't hold up. Like even the horse, the horse one that's seventy. The problem with the legacy is one, most of them are way too many points. See Justin yeah. Roth right here. What about the play at home? See, <laughs> just for you, Justin. We talked about how bad it is. Um, like, it's just all these figures are just too expensive. None of them are 50 points or anything. Like, you have two of them at 75, and they didn't really change the JLU one enough. Or not JLU, the 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 L035. I forget which one that was. Um, uh, wasn't that the... It is JLU. one? Test one? It has Justice oh, League Unlimited. It? it has Justice League uh, Unlimited uh, traits, so yeah. 
Yeah, um, they, I think they basically just gave her the Wonder Woman's human ability and the equipment. That's all they did to her. Yeah, yeah, basically. And then the horse like one that. is probably the only one that might be somewhat playable. Um, I don't like that one. At not all. on meta, like maybe C, D. No, they're all D. It's the only one because I don't like charge pieces that have energy shield. So, um, the, I, the, the only one I kind of like is the KC one. Um, yeah, that one's cool, right. but meh. All right, all right, let's wrap it up. Yeah, overview real quick. So, I, uh, like, I have I have eight pieces in S tier, which is good. This is this is a good meta set. Um, the problem is they're all <laughs> very high rarity. So it's very top heavy, but it it is a good set to invest in. There's a lot of pieces you want in it, a lot of good super rares, and not only are they like eh, they're like really good pieces. They're some of my favorite pieces in model. Um, Commissioner and Felix and Flash are probably my three favorite. I think, um, but yeah, uh, it's a it's a good set. There there is. <laughs> There is a decent amount of trash because they try. They're still trying the side or sidekick, and they haven't figured that out yet. Um, so a lot of that is kind of fodder for me personally. But um, there's a there's a cool set. There's a lot of interesting stuff, I think. So so Dan, what? We'll we'll wrap it up. What five figures do you think Tyler got right? Because that's about miss... that's six <laughs> percent. Yeah, it's close. <laughs> So he got five figures right. <laughs> I'm just playing. Oh, I have to look at his picture to know for sure. But... Yeah, I only had uh, seven in S tier, but I feel pretty good about it, especially um, rewarding the incoming apocalypse by having <coughs> super rare Prime Wonder Woman in there. Um, I'm actually a little I mean, shocked. Had... Say what? I had uh, I had nine in mine. Wow. Oh, you had the non-prime Giganta, which I did not have up there, which is fair. She's really good. Just not my wit. I wish she had my wit like the other one. Um, she'd probably be up there. What? Just like looking at the general uh, rarities, like it. Just looking at it in general for mine, I think the most underwhelming rarity is uncommon. Surprisingly. Like, there, I have commons in A, one common in A, and four in B, but I only have, like, six, seven uncommons, six if you don't count the prime, above D, period. Like, yeah, I have That's six. True. I think I have five. And I've so, got at least ten rares above D. So uncommon in this set is just bad. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. It's a lot of plain stuff. Um, Dan, any overall thoughts on the set? No, I think y'all covered it. I think I agreed with Alex. Uncommons are really low. My commons are decent. The super rares are a mix, and it's very chase and super rare top heavy set. But I mean, we say we said that for the past three sets. We have, uh, but I, I think this was actually. But, Go ahead. But Whiskey's told us that, so. <laughs> They yeah. did. I think this one's actually better than the. I'll I'll go ahead and look, but um later. But I, I there I feel like there's a lot more S and A pieces in this set than in the past ones. It, it seems like the, that. I agree with that because well, I mean they made the whole chase set pretty much S. Yeah, but they did that in Fantastic Four. You know. And... I think I think what we're feeling here is the fact that we have a lot more S and A tier super rares. Yeah, the that's super what rares I think. in this set. Like Future Foundation, we had High Evolutionary and Marquee, maybe. Yeah, and that's about it. The Super and, were not great in that. And set. House of X was Maggot, and I'm not looking at the tier list. I'm just looking at the thing. It was like Maggot, Mother, Juggernaut, Richter. Okay, like four yeah, to I five. Think, I think the Super Rares are a lot better in the set than in the past couple. So it's kind of making up for the other stuff um rares aren't awful yeah, I mean, either I'm, look, I'm looking at s yeah i mean s was marquee herbie high evolutionary and then a watu was a mm -hmm. i forgot about a watu 
I did not. Um, <laughs> That's before his nerf, though. <laughs> it's true. Um, yeah, so I think that it it is top heavy, but there's a lot of value up there. There's there's a lot of good pieces that are going to be played for a long time. I think. And there's room to grow on some of these pieces because there is now. I know we only get one set a year, but <laughs> it is a. They could continue constructs. Like they yeah, did. I feel like they're going to. They filled out and said, hey, constructs is a thing, dude. He, there's like rules for it. So I don't feel like it's a one and done thing. I feel like they could continue constructs. And if so, I mean, Chip is already S tier, but if we get more Green Lantern ones, cool. If we get like any of the other ones, if we get more different colors, then they could be better. Because I think they just say. You know, a, a color, indigo right? construct. Yeah, yeah, like they specifically say a violet <laughs> construct. They don't say generate this specific construct. So means they could get more. Maybe like WKO prizes or something. They could just like, or they even if they did a graph feed of like they did War of Light, that'd be awesome. And just be like, here's a bunch of constructs. Like. <laughs> They were always right. that was always disappointing when you went in the store and you saw a war like grab feed and you're like, Oh, this is just the constructs. This that sucks. Because you can't play that without everything else that goes with it. Yeah. yeah. So Alright, well yeah, like I said, um, we <laughs> I think we did okay. Like I said, I think it's a good set to invest in. Um, we will post everything um, on our Facebook page, all of our lists, and then this link if you want to make your own. That's super fun to see what the community thinks. And uh, I guess that's it. Good night, everybody. Yep. Good night. Yep. <coughs> oh, yeah, I got to stop the stream. That's right. <laughs> yep. That's true. See ya.